Hello, Hello and good Hello. evening. I'm Johnny, your DM, and tonight I am joined by Brad. Hiya. Becky. Hello. Christine. Hello. Ryan. Hello. Sean. Hey. And Dan. Hello. How is everyone this week? Good. Yeah, good thanks. Started my day off with a breakfast burrito. <laughs> did you make it yourself or was it? I did. No, I did oh, make okay. it myself. And I had to like good. even though it's Christmas time, I couldn't get sausage meat anywhere. So I had to buy sausages and cut them out of their casing, which I've never done before. Do you know what my mum had to do exactly yeah. the same thing last night? Yeah. Pro tip. That's never why cut them. You get them and you push up and squeeze and they just cut, slide out the other end it's much quicker. Can you do that again, Johnny? <laughs> That's for I wasn't going to go there. Extra no content. one for the podcast. <laughs> you can just that. I've uh, <laughs> turned into a gif. I'm doing I'll that. Start, I'm doing it personally. Started my day on a lovely, uh, lovely full stomach, and uh, I'm about to get a big old help in a blood and song too. Oh, I'm wow! Really... Awful! Wow! It's terrible. <laughs> I'm feeling um, quite Christmassy because I, I did my first day Christmas shopping yesterday. Went to Canterbury. Um, we're in tier three, so there wasn't, you know, a lot of. Uh, um, was it, it the non-essential shops are allowed to open? They've just got to socially distance, and actually, it was eerie being in a place that was not full. Um, so it feels like but, my ideal kind of Christmas shopping. I know, yeah. it was, it no was, other people there. But it's Thanks. it's weird though, because part of the Christmas joy is going get out of the way i don't know why that's <laughs> just, the joy is it christine that's it is. The it's, there's that it's like sh- people out of the so way to get to what you want all. i went i went to the cinema this was like between lockdowns when i was allowed i went to the, to the letter square odeon i can't remember what i saw oh i saw tenet um and um i it was my perfect cinema going experience i love the cinema but i love it when there's no one in it and i can't <laughs> see anyone or hear anyone so it was like it was like a dream come true. I get the the idea of like a pack cinema. I've been to the Peckham Plex a few times. Yeah. Um, like I love that place, and there's like the atmosphere is so incredible. But sometimes you just want no. But one I I had so that, that like the other my... way round where I went to the cinema. I thought there was no one in there. Kept hearing a guy like coughing and grunting, and then when the film ended, two guys walked out. <laughs> that's okay. That's, yeah. What film We're leaving watching? that story right there. And it was there. and the yeah. film. It, it, was, it doesn't need anymore. It was, was that a story? It doesn't need anything. The film was the film was Bad Boys Three as well, which is which is even. Funnier. They were being very That's bad a boys. Choice. <laughs> very very bad boys. Uh, and maybe her life is going to be what they're going to get in prison if they're found out. Um, Fade to black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of which, um, talking of fading to black, November has faded to black. However, mm. I hear there's some still some stuff going on. Brad, Sean, what's going on with the uh, November Just Giving page? Uh, so the yeah. Just Giving page is well, the Tash is well, my Tash is gone. Sean's Tash, he's deliberated to keep for some reason. So I hope no one would mention it because with the hair, which was quite a concession, I have to admit, I, I could not go, and I've been bald with no beard before, and I looked horrendous. I did look oh, like so you were so you were sort of keeping keeping it on just so there was some hair. So it had to be something. <laughs> I thought if I got rid of this, it would be acceptable within can, the sort of the can rules. Can you grow a this. chin strap so that we got an upside down head? <laughs> I, could, I, I could do my best. Yeah, I could do. I, I'm bored of. I'm always bored of my facial hair. So if there if there are any annotations that anyone wants to give me, not the Hitler. Everybody knows like you just do that just before you shave and you don't tell anyone mm-hmm. you've done it. Yeah. Um, but any other kind of beard or hair combo, uh, why not? I'm at home. No I one think, can see me. I work from home. I think upside down. And then if you're going to keep the hair short, can you just like shave just this bit so you create a lion's yeah. mane? So it just oh, goes all the way around oh, nice. to here. Oh. Mate, I'll do. I work from home. I'll do anything now. This is the one so, time where I take so you requests don't, on my so head. You heard it, folks. Anything. Anything. <laughs> anything. I was going to say, you're not having video meetings or are you just going to pretend your camera's broken so, for the duration I, so when, of the lion? Yeah. I should do that, shouldn't I? Or just surprise people by turning it on one day. But we're not allowed, so because of the bandwidth issues where I work, we're not allowed to do video, only audio. So it's like the perfect. Oh my um, gosh. Like the perfect setup. I no, I see. Thinking. I think you should have video and just not mention it and just completely style it out. Okay. So anyway, on this month on the quarterlies, what I've noticed is this. And then the happy people go, is, do you got fucking lines, That's mate? beautiful. <laughs> is that you could leave it a while because nobody's seen you for so long. <laughs> like, yeah. You just pop up, people think you've had this. Full on. Yeah. You look like the baby from Teletubbies, only with hair. <laughs> Plus, like, I'm the youngest person that works there and I'm not very young. So everyone's going to think like, wow, is this a new haircut? 
is this like well i wish i was i wish i looked this good at 42. um no so people will be like is this a new haircut is this what the youth are doing is this like it and then they'll go and tell people that the youth the youth, made the on youth. You. youth. You've just I'm, shown I'm, your age right I'm comparatively I young cool. i think that's I'm, killed the anecdote <laughs> i'm the youth from comparatively to where i work sean i have often said the only way you and i ever get described as young again is if we prematurely die and that's it <laughs> 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 well, you're going to die of fright when I come in with the lion's mane one day. But yeah, I, I think the, it would put it in glamorous. the comments, anyone listening, if they have an idea, um, send a picture to us on our social media. I'm open oh to my gosh. I don't want to make about me. It's not. It's not. Okay. But, um, but I'm November. Is, just giving page is still yes. up. So yeah, if you want to I, contribute. I have, I have put it in the chat for those that are interested. Thank in you. <laughs> so if you have a few pennies around Christmas and you want to uh, give towards um, mental health and physical health for men, um, then please do. So, so there's that. Uh, almost almost time uh, I'm just going to apologise to anyone who complains about the new camera angle for me tonight I've got a new setup at home uh, but the adapter for my second screen hasn't turned up I'm trying to get it so that I'm not looking up and I can actually be looking a little bit more at people but for tonight it's not working and I can't have my camera where I normally have it hashtag humble brag <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, so um, apologies if it's a little bit disconcerting but uh, it hopefully will only be one week as long as things should all turn up on Thursday with post office being what it is. Um, has anyone got anything else? Any update on kale gates? Uh, there are, I actually had some Savoy cabbage today. I don't know. Is that King not... of the cabbages. <laughs> I'd say it. Brilliant. It I had is, it with yeah. a very nice lamb roast. They named uh, a hotel after it, didn't they? A hotel chain. That's how, that's yeah, the how cabbage. That's the cabbage. <laughs> yeah, everybody's favourite oh, hotel chain. <laughs> <laughs> This is the kind of top quality jokes you're going to get this session to strap in. Absolutely. Um, there's apparently there is after the ales that we received in the tavern a couple of uh, episodes ago, I shall be receiving some ale uh, based uh, reviews from oh. the same pro kale okay. fan. So um, we'll, oh, right. just know. just bran, just kale bran ales. ale. That was it. That's all that we had. Bran ale. <laughs> bran. And maybe some ales to go with kale. Yes. Kale, kale ales. Kale ales. Kale ales. Yeah. There's got to be some kind of kale vegan ale, recipe. If Brewdog haven't made one yet, they have to. And you're welcome, <laughs> Brewdog. You're welcome. Kale infused <laughs> ale for when you want to stay healthy and drink, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's... that's the dream, isn't it? You'll see mm. the product placement soon. Like Blood and Song Kale Ale. Well, Bruno. they like their That'll puns. Happen. Jeez, don't they? why are we not doing this? I mean, we're I'm, gonna, I'm working on it over Christmas. I'm going to put a gift of Johnny the doing the tube and then get yeah. onto Brewdog straight away. Done. That's, that's those two <laughs> things. Those two things. <laughs> I think I think there should be a little bit of a, a exploration in the in the pun name because that's what Brewdog do, don't they? Yeah. They have all their pun names. So just like... two cops. Well, they have pun names. <laughs> and just, two hops. Hops. just two cops. For some reason. Yeah. Just two hops. Oh my god. That's very good. Genuinely. Oh, Ryan, you put it in public domain. Cool. There now. <laughs> it doesn't matter already. it's fine um <laughs> we'll just pull this and delete it no one will ever see it uh, we, we won't right it, has anyone got anything else to discuss no please so ready go on so in ready. that case let's jump into this week's episode of blood and song Right, hello everyone, welcome back. So let's recap where we were. Our party has been on a interesting journey in the last few episodes, tasked with finding uh, the location of a missing high priestess from the temple. Our new paladin of Aloria is sort of on the hunt for some information there. We have a general quest for the party as well where they are looking to find the cause of a mystery illness. They seemed to um, have a lead to go to Darius Ventus, a nobleman's house. They headed there in the airs and they found 
or rather found or didn't find, the remnants of something missing. The trail led Phaser and Seed to a magic shop, pardon me, where the owner mentioned something about an item that matched a the description they'd read in the journal, uh, stolen by a thief named Feiss. As it happened, the um, Seed, uh, no not Seed, sorry, Lack and Ripper all headed down south into the cinders that destroyed part of the city and quickly found that there wasn't a lot there so they headed off to Ashfall where they encountered two muggers. Uh, one of them was quite brutally murdered um, by Oopsie. Lack and <laughs> well they made the other defecate his pants and run away which was um, charming. You met up with the rest of the party and you finally got to the hideout of the Brotherhood of Ash in the unnamed pub in the centre of the cinders, of the uh, Ashfall. You'd just walked in and you'd seen a rather foppish older nobleman, kind of mid-fifties with this frilly purple jacket, um, kind of greying hair with kind of streaks of ginger running through it, he had this goatee and he was sat back in this loose position with a goblet of wine and he just said, well, hello, I've been expecting you. And that's where we open up tonight. So he looks you all in the eye and says, You've been in my city for quite some time. I rather thought you'd introduce yourselves a little earlier, but we have been having fun, haven't we? I didn't actually catch your names. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hello. Uh, hello. I am Ripper. Uh, I'm the leader of this group <laughs> of uh, merry, merry, merry I'm people. Sorry, what? Um, and we are here on a rather wonderful quest. Why, you're very flamboyant, aren't you? I think we're going to get along just fine. Of course we are. And so, Ripper, the leader. Octavius. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm, hello. Ripper, the leader. Yes. Uh, well, we haven't actually designated a leader yet, but sure. Um, I am Octavius. I'm an ex-soldier. I'm also helping. Right, well, you're the chatty one of the group, clearly. And by who do we have here? You're very short. And he turns and looks at Phaser. Yeah, you know, I've uh, been told I've been a little short for my uh, for my age. Um, you know, but I don't think I just... Oh, you were talking to uh, Phaser, my yeah. mistake. Carry on. Uh, um, yes, uh, mm. well, I mean, I either I'm, I'm very short or, or you're very tall. Um, oh. oh my, <laughs> very witty. So, uh, uh, my, my name's Phaser. Thank you. Hello, Phaser. A pleasure. Right, you, you there, Mr. Chatty Man. And Six, he looks at you. I am uh, Six Smith, captain of the Ninth Hand of the Inherian Army. Uh, and who might you be, sir? I thought you'd never ask. My name is Lucius. Lucius Axius. And you might say... <laughs> I'm in charge around here. Can I just um... say, I already like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and what pretella are you in charge of, my friend? Um, he kind of leans back on his chair, looks around, goes, well, boys. And there's just this <laughs> kind of low laugh from all around the tavern. And you get the feel that if we had a multi-million dollar budget and animators this would probably turn into like a, a disney style song i genuinely felt like <laughs> it was that moment like... entangled do you know what i mean <laughs> yes i have a dream some kind of scar song from lion King beautiful or something. you yeah. might <laughs> I'm think feeling that it. I'm feeling it. uh um, but who says this guy's a bad guy you don't know and uh who says good and bad or even things in arian well you know could be morally great and he uh turns to you and goes well, I suppose you might say I'm in charge of anything that falls through the gaps. Items that don't always belong where they are, if you see what Can I mean. Can you not just give a straight answer? Oh my, where's the fun in that? Well, it's only fun for one half of you. Us. <laughs> oh dear boy, I think I'm going to like you. I will make you smile, I'm sure. I uh, you know what, don't even bother. I've been trying for the last couple of days. It is just like, it's like stone wall. 
I can see that. So, you've been wandering around my town, causing merry havoc everywhere, but what brings you to my lair? I thought I'd have to send someone to fetch you. Well, actually, we were looking for some items that very much belong to us. Oh. We thought you might have seen them. I mean, possibly, but then they would no longer belong to you. I'm not sure that's technically how that works. <laughs> Technicalities are always fun to play with. Now, what is it you believe is missing? Let's see if old Lucius can't help you. Lack looks towards Ripper, and he's like this. Nah, okay. bruv. Nah, it's not worth it, bruv. Okay. It's not worth it, bruv. Nah, it's not worth okay. it, bruv. Yeah? It's not worth it, bruv. Don't worry about it. What we are calm. missing... It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. <laughs> what we are missing is two carts and three mules. The mules answer to the names of Granny, Auntie, and Uncle. Mules? Thank Hello. you, Seed, by the way, for that. Did did they ever answer to those names? They they might they might not, but but, but that's what we call them. Mules. Hmm. And where did you lose these mules? Oh, it was very prominent. It was right in front of the forum, so I'm sure that if you didn't take them, you might have seen who did. Hmm. Well, it's a it's a cold evening with winter drawing in. Might I offer you all a plate of stew whilst we wait the outcome of this? I will just send someone he reaches up and just clicks. Um, and as he does, and he, his frilly shirt props down, you just see this lovely silver chain around his wrist. And, uh, and kind of scurrying up to him comes, you know, a fairly shabby looking individual. Yes, boss. Yes. These fine people seem to have lost some uh, transport and animals in our town. Would you be so kind as to inquire? And, yes, boss. And he uh, runs off and smack his... Sorry, uh, would you like some food and drink whilst we're waiting? Um, yeah, I could go for a drink. Lucy, I've got a question for you, mate. Do you know, uh, do you know a fawn inside of your, um, operation, should we call it? You know, quite life on his feet, running away from cutler guards. Hmm. I mean, running away from guards is quite common and fawns and he you look around as he gestures and you see there's a few fawns in here fawns being fairly name common maybe feist oh he has red hair feist was it yes i know feist suffice to say <laughs> i like it turns Very around good. and the like the some of the people turn around and go <laughs> Oh God! Oh, right. your arm is, is here. Is Ripper is Ripper close enough for a high five on that joke? He can try. You can try. Yeah. Well, I give this guy a high five for that hilarious. <laughs> That's my guy. He looks at your hand and goes, "Oh, darling, I don't touch." Oof, they're oh. hanging. That's good to know. Just gonna wind this one back down. Yes. Now, uh, yes, Feist. What on earth do you want with him? Apparently, he was trying to sell something recently. I don't suppose it crossed your path. Oh, no. What was he trying to sell this time? Oh, just an unusual object, from what we heard. I don't suppose any rumour of it came this way? Rumours always come my way, dear. But this is something that you must learn, that not everything that is stolen comes to me. I am a... Hmm discerning gentleman and I do not wish for my parlour to be sullied with common thievery and if I must give one criticism of Feist it is that he was a very common thief he was not so good at listening we believe he... this common thief has come into contact with uncommon goods yes he uh He's often found breaking into houses in the airs that we have not designated. It can cause a terrible problem. You know what it's like. You attack the wrong person and suddenly you've got the guards breathing down your neck. It's a palaver. If we're looking to find this fawn, uh, do you know where he might be? 
hmm, well, normally I'd just say follow the smell, but uh, out here in the Ashfall, that's not so easy. Um, well, let us just say that information is valuable, and nothing is free. And at this moment, some uh, attendants turn up, and they've got lovely bowls of stew, and uh, kind of hot and steaming against the cold air. It smells uh, richly of vegetables, and uh, it's kind of slightly beefy, muttony smell, kind of rich umami flavours coming up. And he says, would you please, anyone, help yourself? Can I just double check the rules of, of, of D&D 5e? If I... If I take a, like touch it to my lips i can tell what's in it is that how it works or if i miss if i misinterpret not that? automatically but you can if you are attempting to say check whether something is poisoned you can dip lick and uh, then I you would... can make a check is lucius I would... eating I would from like the same to... bowl well, that's not the, the same bowl. test isn't it but dip, he lick, takes uh he does take a bowl and he's happily dainty very daintily little finger out <laughs> Hold on. I would Hold on, like team. to test and on, see team. whether it is mule. Okay. Um, That's what I'd like to test. Have this... you ever eaten? Has your character ever eaten mule before? I imagine probably during like long combat encounters or something. Okay. One of them would have died. Uh, make me it. then a nature check. Seven. It's a nature check of seven. It's a very peppery stew, and you can really <laughs> taste bay leaf, but other than that, you've, you've no idea. I want to check if it's poisoned in some way. I mean, you can, again, both of you very tentatively dip and lick. Make me a um, poison, poison. Make me a survival check. Poison, poison. Uh, that is a 23. It's not poisoned. Hold on. I take Before a Before we grab a stew, let's just heed exactly what this wonderful man just said nothing in this town comes for free and a rip is going to step away from the bowls of food i pass lax and chilies and as i pass him some chilies from my pouch i say you might want to ask him if it's mule yeah you know i did he seems like the kind of guy who has a sense of humor and you know a little bit like that i don't think we're going to be in his debt for eating a bowl of stew i think he's prepping us for an offer this does feel like some kind of hospitality exchange, yeah? Well, why can't I just be nice to some strangers coming in through the door? Because you literally just said nothing comes for <clears throat> free and there ain't no such thing as a free meal, right? Isn't that what your mums used to say? And I turn around to Lack and Sixsmith. Oh no, M Mother always used to say, um, if you have lunch... Oh, everybody gets a bunch. You know, everybody no. comes along, it's free. In Deary, it's, it's much more sherry, you know? Yeah, it's the rhyme. In Deary, so sherry, you know. While they're having this conversation, because um, I haven't I haven't said much, um, so Feist is a human who's ginger. He's not the same as the fawn who was running across the forum. Could I have a look around and see if I can recognise the fawn that ran across the forum? Make me a perception check, please, Mason. Hang on. <laughs> Eleven. I mean, everything here is sort of fascinating. Although, can you make me also, Phaser, an insight check with your background, please? With my background? What does that mean? Is just that means passive? With, no, with what your character knows, just make uh, me an insight check. Oh, right. This is a position afforded to you because of your story. Okay. So, so you're the uh, only one that can make this roll. Okay. Um, insight is nine okay so as you look around uh, you can't see the form that you'd helped in the forum but you get a sense that these thieves are not common thugs that they're although they might look a little rough around the edges and ragtag there is something about them you can't quite tell what with a nine but you've been in enough situations and met enough similar kind of people that these are interesting to you at do, least do you mean interesting in a um threatening way or do you mean interesting in a uh, like camaraderie kind of way could go either way at this point 
So again, you don't have enough with a nine to get <laughs> okay. a really clear sense of them. Okay. But I you see. just get that sense that this okay. isn't, say, common dockside thieves that you've strolled into. Okay. Mr. Okay. Ventus, did we find out the name of your collective of merry men? Mr. Ventus. Uh, Mr. Axius. That would be yeah. the one. Ventus. <laughs> Mr. Has... Axius, yes, yes. <laughs> Ventus. Doesn't he have a place? Oh, is this linked to that? Deary me. My men, well, my people, I should say. We're not all men. And uh, some of us are animals. Isn't that right, folks? And again, you hear it <laughs> in the background. And uh, he says, oh, yes, we are the brothers of Ash. And are you the leader of this bunch, or a high-ranking member? Darling, I've already told you. I'm the leader of this town. Interesting. That's interesting. That doesn't exactly track with what we've been told about this town. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that it would. You see, you might say that the governor is officially in charge, or that oath of a tribune, but... Anything really important. From what I've seen, the person in charge of this town so far is the captain. Oh, Maxine. Yes. yes, she has a bit of a pain, I have to admit, a bit of a thorn in the side, but I'm sure we can win her over. I disagree, but we'll leave it at that. Well, of course. In, do enjoy your stew before it gets cold. I promise it's not mule. <laughs> I don't like the way you promised that. <laughs> I've already eaten a bowl and put it down by now. <laughs> Can you tell me uh, what your promises are worth? So for some people, they're worth nothing. For some people, they're worth everything. What are your promises worth, Mr... Whatever your name is? Uh, Axius. Axius. Please, just call me Lucius. It's far less offensive than you butchering my name. Um, the My promises are worth what anyone's promises are worth. Absolutely nothing to the wrong people and everything to the right sort. It remains to be seen which you are. So, uh, what can we do for you? <sighs> I, we, I assume that's why we're here. No, I think it's I more what he can do here. for us six. Well, I assume he's going to propose something. I'm with you, Octavius, of course. Um, but I'd like to hear him out first to decide if he's useful for us. If you are useful for us, my apologies. It's quite all right, darling. I think I'm possibly the most useful person you've yet met. Now, you want information. I'm actually the sorry of to device. interrupt. We did meet the ambassador to the God King himself, I mean, Deary. I reckon. I don't. I don't mean to be rude. I don't know you very well, but he's very useful. Very useful person indeed. Um, I'm just. I don't want to correct you. I understand. I'm in your house. I just uh, facts and figures. You know. Oh, you're a dear one, aren't you? Look at you, that lovely colour. Well, now, it's uh, kind of dark now because I rubbed myself up against a mash, you know. Yes, I continuity mean... Continuity and all that. It can still see through a little a bit of the saffron. But it's fine. Um, you haven't really spoken much. No, I don't think I need to speak much. Um, my mother used to say, better to remain a fool with your mouth closed than to open it and be a fool, or something like that. Yeah, no, no, no. It was, don't be a fool with your mouth open. open. your mouth. Be a fool with your mouth closed. That's I'm right, sure right. That's what it was. And I am definitely that one. I see, he says. I think, and, they, uh... I think you've made that very well known. <laughs> <laughs> see, she was right. She was absolutely right. Right. Now, uh, you want some information from me on the location of these carts, and the location of the animals, the location of whatever it was, well, Feiss, really, but whatever it is he's stolen, I think you're more interested in. Hmm, this is quite a lot of information you want. And might I add, I think I have information that you don't know you want. At least for some of you. So yes, your question, what can you do for me? Well, that is interesting. Now, I'm assuming that that, hmm, Harlot, Maxime, informed you that there would be a price on our heads. You probably strolled in here with some notion of collecting on it. Well, you're Definitely currently worth not your heads. 500 gold. 
No, I think it was. Was it one thousand gold for the head? I think it was a thousand for your head. Like two thousand. Two thousand for yeah. the head of you, and then five thousand for your ranking members. I think was it something like that. No, it was five hundred for him, and then ten gold pieces for the rest each. Do you hear that, <laughs> boys? Ten gold. Was it per hand again? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You but never the thing is, right? Through. They never you negotiated anything for eyes, for feet. For noses, for limbs, for fingers, for backs of knees, for fronts of knees, for sides of knees. Well, Ripper, this is getting to be a bit of a fetish. Um, well, amazing. listen, don't don't kink shame me, all right? No, not at all. I'm just asking if it is a thing. I mean, everything's a thing, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. I'm not offended. I've seen all sorts. Now, I get it. Goes for another high five. Oh, darling, I just said I don't touch. Well, Please just, do try and keep up. I'll just wind that one down. I'll there is a, up, there is a plague that. on in this town, Ripper. I would be careful about high-fiving strangers. No, oh, yes, the uh, mysterious illness. That has been a little bit of a pain on business, I must admit. So, uh, might I suggest... I'm assuming that the wench from the hospital has already sent you on some fool quest to solve it. In Mara. ask for our assistance, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. in Mara. I offered her mine and she turned it down, so she turns to some strangers from out of town. It's wildly predictable. I don't suppose you've had any luck as the one thing you need I seem to already know. Now, how can we resolve this? I suppose I could send you on some sort of long quest where you fetch something for me and bring it back, but that would be utterly tedious. So, uh, and to be honest, there's nothing you can get me that I can't get myself. So why don't we make this simple? 1,000 gold and I'll tell you the location of Fice. How about... How about six on six, winner takes all? <laughs> Oh, darling. And <laughs> the captain gets a bit loud. He goes, I really don't think that's fair. Oh, yeah, no, fair enough. 12 on 6, then. We'll see what you've got. You know, Ripper, um, I love a fight as much as the next soldier. Octavius, but, um, I don't, Octavius I don't. moves to the back of the room. I think maybe you need to ask consent before you take uh, somebody else into a fight. There are many other yeah, well, what about this one problem. asking for consent to try and extort us for a thousand gold? Look at us. This one's covered in dirt. This one's just fresh out of the army. You know, I don't know about the rest of yours. But how's that, how's that okay for it? Yeah? I, think, I, I, I think, never said it I was think, okay. I'm I think a thief. the important thing, um, Mr. Axius, uh, if you don't mind me saying this, is that, um, you know, if, 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 we, if we were offered 500 gold pieces to, to, to maybe you know perhaps facilitate your delivery to maxime um it would it would insinuate that 500 gold pieces was a lot to us and and that maybe we don't have a thousand gold pieces you know uh, that's certainly some good logic it might also insinuate that the army are cheapskates which trust me your good friend here any gestures octavius will be the first to agree with the army are always cheapskates uh, I, I see it is, just, uh, it is inefficient you're, uh... Lucius, you are you are a, a purveyor of goods, no? Oh, some, yes. I assume some legally, some illegally, right? I'm oh, not none legally, judge. darling. This would be far too boring. I'm not here to judge. Well, you're telling me you stole all those carrots for this, do? Look, this is what I'm getting at, right? Look, what I'm saying is, obviously you want something, and maybe we could trade. We just picked up the most amazing rubber chicken ever, and we're willing to trade it. Um, Are we? Because I, I I thought that was my chicken. I I, I mean y y if you think it's it's helpful, but but I I don't I don't I don't w what? I think there is a more prescient point here that is maybe being missed. You have just admitted yourself that the disease in this city is causing your business some difficulties. You have also admitted that Imara from the hospital is not interested in working directly with you in order to solve the problem. It appears your solution may be at hand. If Inmara is willing to work directly with us, then a solution may be more forthcoming, which would be of great benefit to your business. Make me a persuasion check, please, Seed. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> I do have a reasonable bonus, so that's now a 12. 
Just in case. Hmm. Interesting. The idea of hmm go betweens. Oh, I do like the sound of winding up in Mara without her knowing. Hmm. Okay, I won't deny I'm slightly tempted. I'm not completely sold, but I certainly could be persuaded. How about this, then? I will tell you the location of Vice. In exchange, you will be my go-betweens within Mara, and at some time in the future, I might require a favour of you. Of course, you can have the rubber chicken whenever you want it. I, I, I really think that's, that's my chicken. It's, it's my chicken. chicken. It's my can, chicken. Um, can I just clarify one favour? For Fice's address, of course. Just one favour per piece of information? How big is this favour? Exactly. Commensurate. You know, I, I am very Still sorry to interrupt. Still very vague. I want a definite. I refuse uh, any accord with this gentleman. No offence, unless I know the exact terms. Um, I will um, be waiting for you at the back of the room. And, and Sixsmith just um, walks back away and just sort of stays by the entrance. Um, alert, but, um, you know, not not sort of in high alert. Just just re waiting to see what happens. Six is distance. playing. Six is playing one of the cops. <laughs> It occurs to me that you might be able to, for example, tell us what favours you have requested in the past of other people who have done a similar exchange with you. Well, I don't believe anyone's gone between, say, the governor and myself before. That would be... Oh, that ought to believe. Oh, dear boy, that was... Quite wonderful. Touché. Touché. You no, know, yes, I quite understood. I couldn't say I'm not tempted, but it, the opportunity has not presented itself yet. Now, yes, Reflexes. well, what favour? It might be acquiring an item. It could be smuggling an item. Some people, I just need information. I would never go in for so slowly things like murder or assassination that's all a little bit well a little bit dirty to be honest but uh i think something along the realms of my kingdom bringing an item procuring an item might be needed in the future or possibly moving an item from one place to another i will i will do a favor as long as it means that we do not break the law oh dear boy where's the fun in that i don't care about your fun well, that's quite evident. There are plenty of practical things that we are capable of doing for you that do not require the breaking of laws. Uh, yes, well, what are they then? Go on, let's hear them. For example, we just provided safe passage as an escort for somebody very important to this city. It's a, it's a good example of a very practical favour that is particularly useful from an adventuring party such as ourselves. No laws need to be broken, and I am sure that from time to time you have people who wish to have safe passage from one city to another, correct? My dear Nermengartian, might I just address your attention over here? And he, he points to the other side of the pub where there's a, a, sm a few small tables. And as you look over to the corner you haven't looked at before, sort of like the south uh, eastern corner, Octavia sees something that would make his blood boil. As he sees two off-duty soldiers, he goes, If I need grunts, I can simply buy them. As long as they're not from that awful woman's guard. No, I'm afraid the things I need are always a little bit more special. Procurement. This is why I left. This is why I left. He, Octavius goes and walks next to Sixsmith. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the other two don't have to uh, sign on. If this is some group affair, let me sweeten the deal. Phaser. Yes. Hmm. Let me see if I can work something else about you. He sits there and strokes his uh, 
tiny little goatee has a sip of wine puts it on and goes you're from Zawati face is a little bit shocked because nobody else has put that to, to her before she doesn't say anything <laughs> mm, yes and uh you're looking for someone um do you do you do you has anybody mentioned me has has someone been looking for me oh yes um uh, one moment and i think maybe huddle <laughs> i don't know <laughs> in a conversation <laughs> Excuse um, us for one moment. I think my associate needs to have a little sidebar. Thank Can you. Can you come find us means. at the back? Should we, okay. we call well, you we, over we, at the we, back we, of the room? Thank you. Thank, thank you. Um, um, that has given us food for thought, um, Mr. Axius. We'll, 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 we'll be back in, in, in just a moment. Of course. Okay. Um, Fizz, are you okay? What, uh, well, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold my cape up so it hides all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Fizz, you seem uh, strange. You seem strange. I, I, there are two things that I, I, I care a lot about, um, and and one of them is uh, the fact that for the last ten years I've been looking for the man that that, that raised me, and who found me, and the other one um, is T. Well, well, uh, well, Andra and and my belief. So, oh. um, uh, Toots, do you hear that? You don't even make the top two list, mate. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> she gives him a little scratch under his and his under his under her chin and just and just sort of shakes her head at him at her even um and she says listen um i don't know what these favors are and i don't ask anyone to go against the beliefs that they hold very dearly to themselves um you you don't know a lot of, about my past but i hope you know enough about my character to know that um i i believe that um good people don't necessarily always follow the laws because the law is not always good. Um, my my friends um, Lack and 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 Sixsmith, you you talk often about the sayings that your mother has. Um, the man who raised me didn't have many sayings. Uh, he he taught me a lot, but one of the things that he did say very often is that sometimes the little guys have to look after the little guys. Um, he did not believe very strongly in necessarily the the letter of the law but he believed in the spirit of the law um but i, I he was a very good man and i and i and if there is a chance this will be the first chance that i've had in 10 years and she just s stops well I, I think that phaser may be correct in this instance that we maybe need to think a little differently than simply what is within and without the law. For example, there is a disease here, we've all seen it, and if we don't do something about it, people are going to die. If this individual here can give us information and help us in this quest, and in exchange we are going to take some things that don't belong to us, things are less important than lives. Brother, um... I haven't really enjoyed Chinella at all since being here. Everyone has been mean to us. Um, and this, only the law is bad, huh? Yeah. They're the not, not nice people. The people yeah? And um, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, just yeah. want to look after my new friends. I'm sure that's what Mother would have wanted. You know, Mother would have liked you, Faisal. Huh? Like, um, yeah. Um, what, about, what about me? Well, uh, everyone she, likes you. Know what? you. She would have liked you. She would have loved you. She, she would have loved everyone. calves. You have very nice calves. She always found something to like in somebody, no matter what. Um, <laughs> no matter how difficult it would be and how long it would take. Um, okay, you make a good tea. Uh, I could stand to have some more of your tea. I could stick around for a bit. I will support not necessarily the cause of this Lucius. But uh, your cause seems noble. I will support you, whatever you need. I'm here. Um, uh, if it's important to you, Faser, it's important to me, and it's I, important to my brother. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I, I, I don't wish to take advantage of anybody, but I, I think that sometimes you, you have to, to walk a different route to come to the right uh, 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 destination, and the destination would be the saving of, of many lives, including Celia, our friend who's very ill. Um, and, and I feel like maybe 
this 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 gentleman may ask us to do some shady things. Um, he said it won't be dark though with murder and so on. And that's like, like without a little chaos, huh? I, yes. I, no, I, uh, strangely, I will... I'm okay with murder. You know, I will uh, help <laughs> as a soldier. I like <laughs> this. I don't like Just... this. Octavius, what do you like? However, that. however, if depending on the favor, I may break the contract depending on the favor we are asked at a later date well um, i think that's fair enough i think i think is... two things i think one just want to double check phaser chickens off the menu right uh well well yeah i mean it's right. I, I feel this may be useful later on second of um, all we know where this guy is now right so all we've got to do is just go and tell missy and be like oi he's over here yeah in pub no name and then sh and then you know it's all right, I would say, so I we would... can do what he wants to do now, accept his terms, and then just be like, "Oh, Maxine, love, yeah, he's in the pub with no name, yeah." Well, you so know, it's good I, to get out of the rain. I don't I believe much... in, in entering to an agreement with an intention to double cross, but 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 I would say that if those feels very strongly that they don't wish to to continue with with owing this favour, then I understand. And and if Lucius will accept just myself. As owing him a favor, then then I am prepared to take that on board. It really for the depends team, entirely the on the favor because oh, sometimes, wait, on a minute. sometimes on a minute. even an object going missing is worse than someone dying because it leads to consequences down the line. I, I sometimes I I think you can look too far in the future, and you can only see what what is ahead. And at the moment, all we can see is 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 this journey towards this this. This potential uh, um, artifact, which seems to be some kind of cause to this, um, or maybe, um, and I can see the first hint that I have had in ten years of where my, where, where my, uh, 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 my, my centre is. I will leave this to all of your judgment, and I will follow. Okay. But we shall see. Thank you. Thank you for listening. This is taking a very long time. Then you hear be from the patient. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right. Ripper's gonna, Ripper's gonna drop the cape and turn around and go, Lucius, darling. I want to, uh, I want to ask, I want to ask, just one little bit more information before Phaser comes to her decision. Right? Oh, got so to, much talk. Got to think Come it on. over, you know. Uh, your men in it and women, right, and whatever else. Uh, they all seem to be looking fine and healthy. Yeah, everyone out in that street, it's a bit, you know, smoky-eyed. And I'm not talking about where you get a little bit of coal, wrap it under, you know, to accentuate the eyes or nothing. I'm talking like poory, right? So what do you know about staying healthy that these guys don't? Can you keep a secret, dear boy? It's fucking kale, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've ruined your joke, mate. There you go. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> There we go. I'm on to you. We've been playing D <laughs> games for far too long. I know exactly where. Yeah, uh, it's cruciferous <laughs> vegetables or whatever. Hey, it wasn't going to be. Eat fine. Green, <laughs> <laughs> Always eat your greens, darling. Always eat your greens. Be. It's fine. It wasn't going to be. It genuinely wasn't going to be, but it's fine. So it's, now it is. Can you keep a secret, darling? Oh, I can't. I mean, Doesn't I you look like you can keep a secret? I lean. Um, Lucius leans and goes, So can I. And just leans back. Hmm. Can I try and give him a little kiss? As you... Well played, well played. Not that mm -hmm. close. He's still on the other side of this quite <laughs> large desk. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't have enough time to fade to black. Um, um, uh, Phaser will step up to him and say, I agree to the favour if this leads to where I, where I hope it will. Marvellous. Well, the favour will be due at some point. For you, luckily, right now, there's nothing I'm in receipt of. So, for the moment, I will give you two bits of information. The first is the miscreant you are seeking lives here. He pulls out a quill which um, six and lack notice is actually a peacock quill which would be fairly common back home. Um, yet yeah, Ripper would notice it too. It's probably not ostentatious enough for him because it's a plain peacock. It's not like bedazzled or something. And uh, he just writes something in violet ink on a piece of parchment, slides it over, and uh, it's an address with some simple description of how to get there. It's somewhere else in Ashfall, on the northern side nearer the dregs. Um, he goes, 
That, I believe, is the first part. And the second part. All right, all right, I'll sleep with you. I know it's this is where it's been going this whole time. I saw you looking at my cape. I saw um, you looking Faser, at my abs. Saw you looking at my Faser, cars. Faser right. gives... Get Faser gives Toots oh. a shove and Toots stamps on his foot. <laughs> Ripper don't feel oh, nothing. Getting the pangolin to do your dirty work. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Lucius looks looks directly at Seed and goes, uh, look, notices the drum by their side and says, and I thought it was normally the bards that were the tarty ones. Mm, clearly <laughs> something wrong in this party. Now, Faser. I, just, I literally just got slut shamed and uh, Ripper's going to walk to the back of the room. <laughs> He did bring it upon himself, didn't he, really? He did a little bit. <laughs> Put yourself out there, you might get burnt. That's, that's the risk you take. Now, Phaser, I believe you are looking for someone. Mine. Mine. What was his name? My Santa. My Santa. Was that it? Close. My Santa. My Santa. It's been a long time, dear. I'm so sorry. Yes. I met him. He was here, you see. Hmm, probably only a year ago now, found his way to me. Uh, he was a little dishevelled, I must say, but he found himself quite at home among my brethren. We uh, nursed him back to health a little bit. And, what happened uh, to him? Oh, just travel-worn, dear. He'd been on exos... Uh, he'd been on... The word has flown out of my head. It's been an awfully long day. Thank you. You were, you were I was temporarily put off by his, by his <laughs> actual energy. I temporarily. I was just thinking extort, extort. No, he didn't go on an extort. Uh, <laughs> I bet he's thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> he went on an expedition uh, into the blighted wastes and came out looking a little worse for wear. But we nurse him back, and uh, I'm afraid he left about four months ago. Did he say where? He didn't, or rather he did, but I'm afraid I didn't understand. Um, he left a note for you. Uh, m may I have it? Well, yes, of course. And he passes you a piece of paper that is uh, got some very familiar writing. You won't charge a thousand gold for that, though, will ya? And it just says on it, Phaser. Off to find the remnants of the Forsaken. Well, I know you'll find me. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Um, did you say that, that your colleagues helped you look after him? Well, I looked after him, and if I'm looking after you, the boys are too. You know what that means, so, yeah? <laughs> so Faisy gives a little bow to... Lucius and she turns and gives a little bow to his colleagues and says I thank you and then she takes the note and she puts it in her pocket but she's very puzzled she doesn't know what forsaken means it says, well at this point <laughs> that don't think <laughs> that brings two parts of our business to conclusion uh, shall we collect his okay. head now <laughs> hang on hang on where are the mules joking, has your man come back yet where are the mules Man comes running in. With a... Good timing. And he goes, oh. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Yes, no, I did remember. Thank you. Right, so. Now, I don't believe this was part of the original deal. Yeah, Where but uh, we know what you're like. Uh, you seem like a nice man and a smart man. You were going to give us a little incentive, uh, a support, a little bit of friendship, a show of friendship and allyship. And in return for not taking your head in the hands of your people, you will offer us information on our mules. There is suddenly a massive laughter as though you've just told the funniest joke in the world, including from uh, Lucy. Goes, oh, <laughs> oh, darling, the friendship is letting you walk in here to begin with. You're Six Smith laughs as well, by the way. Well, Alongside as if he gets the joke. <laughs> you are certainly welcome to try and take my head. It no, it not just want well. our mules. I think there's been a miscommunication here. Yeah, it'd be very rude after eating your stew to then cut off your head. If you were going to do it, we would have done it earlier. Um, but yes, lack. Sorry, uh, auntie, uncle, <laughs> grandma. 
Yes, it seems that the mules were left unattended. Mm, no, that's a big no-no, I'm afraid, around these parts. However, they were uh, apprehended by a colleague of ours. If you uh, finish off this business that you have taken care of, I could perhaps see my way to getting them returned to you. I mean, what business is it Hmm. I want one secret from Inmara. I want to know how she does her blasphemous magic. It's I mean, not from the gods. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Um, the the, the mules was sixty five gold. And the secret to some person's magic does seem awfully more expensive than that. I love granny, auntie and uncle, but if I can find another 65 gold, I'll buy another three mules. Um, that, of course, is them your for choice. Like two days. You know, I just thought people would be nice around here. We left our mules outside in, in a public place. And in dairy, this would never happen. People just steal it. Then they're, then they're nasty to us, downright rude the entire time. And all we do is ask nicely. And now I have to steal someone's magic to, to get back three mules. This is Octavius. I don't understand, Chinella. What, what is going on? What is going on is people. I couldn't give you a better no, explanation, really. This than... is this is not how it works. He's in quite dairy. right there. Well, I suppose different cultures are rather different. But uh... regardless... Imara does blasphemous magic. Well, quite. Healing without the power of the gods. I mean, I couldn't think of a better way of describing it than blasphemous. Can you? No, it's or rather, just magic. that's certainly how the priests describe it. Oh, I but, see. But uh, I would certainly like to know how she does. A page from her book, perhaps. Something like that. Oh, well, hold on a minute. You know how she does it. She got a book. So there you go. Tell us where the mules are. There you go. Sorted. Yeah? Well, I know there's a book dear boy i'm sorry but, but i think we should something else i think we should forget about the mules because by giving him access to healing it could potentially bankrupt in mara yeah also you know in indiri they take your mule to feed it they take it and feed it and you go where's my mule and then it comes back all fed and happy looking and then they know. invite you in for dinner yeah you have a bit of food there yeah 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 not yeah, bloody mule stew wine. And then, and then, you know, and then maybe sometimes they want to trade for the mule, right? And, you know, that's their way of seeing whether it acclimatizes to the new, to, to the new area that it's going to be in, you know? You know, I'm very flummoxed by this, uh, this whole scenario. If it's okay with you, I'll get some air. I think our uh, business is concluded. I'm satisfied for now and I'll see you all later. And I'll you just... are, of course, free to leave whenever you like. I just leave, go outside to get some air, I think, Six Smith. I Thank can't wait to much. show these two the capital. And he follows the six out. <laughs> Is it, are you done here? Um, uh, thank you for the food. And, and then she'll leave. You're most I welcome. Lax will follow right behind Fraser. Ripper, as he's walking, gets to the door, turns around, smacks himself on the butt, and then <laughs> walks and then walks out the door. Really and it's, and it's rock hard. Power, doesn't like, it? It, doesn't, it doesn't make it just like it's like a, a bit, it's like punching a brick wall. It's like Ren and Stimpy's butt, isn't there? Like, isn't there like that sort of, you know, that sort of cartoon SpongeBob butt? No, isn't it's it? just it's like, just like, and then it's like, yeah, with a little. It's practical. It's practical butt. You know this man squats. Moving it's swiftly like... on, so you walk out up. of the of the tavern, right? You, is oh, everyone so leaving? Is anyone sticking behind? Jesus. Um, I think that's sorry, everybody. What did, what did you yeah. say, Johnny? Sorry, I was. Is if everyone else leaving? Is anyone yes. staying behind or talking at this point? Seed, what are you doing, Seed? Um, just before leaving, uh, Seed's going to turn back to him and just say, "As you might have noticed, it is going to be difficult for you to use the full services of this party if you can't, in some way, meet us a little bit more in the middle. Just some food for thought the next time you're trying to strike a bargain, and okay. then." turn to go. As Seed reaches the door. Seed? Yes? A bargain is when two people need things. This is just a quicker way. But if you prove your worth, we shall see where this relationship goes. Toodle pip. 
and then as you walk out you are stood in the street it's kind of uh, it's come early evening and now the light is fading rapidly the gray ash fall has slowly started getting a little bit heavier you stand in the street with the address of Fice. what would you like to do well, let's head this way surely well oh, done for uh, getting this by the way good work well, I think we should probably head to the address as soon as possible. It seems likely that more people within that establishment might have known Mr. Vice, and I don't think it's going to be a secret for very long that we know where he is. So you heading straight there. Uh yeah. Faser, you're the one you're the one who guided us through the airs last time. Yeah, do you want to get the map out? Be our little compass? Yes, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Um we have a little map from from, from you certainly do. On the, from Fixie. So as you uh, start to follow the map, everyone else keeping their eye out. Can everyone else just make me some perception checks, please, as you were travelling through the Ashfall? Yeah. Nine for Ripper. Three. Fourteen. Twelve. Thirteen. Ooh. Very low checks little, there, folks. A little bit annoyed, I think. <laughs> The oh, is it every, every, Christine Grumble. included or everyone else? No, because uh, oh, she's what? checking the map. So Phaser is being your guide. She's definitely not checking the periphery. So you make Although, your way through. Um, does Toots, Toots does, doesn't he? He's, he can't be snuck up upon, or she, sorry. She can't be can't snuck, be up, snuck upon, up upon, certainly. Um, so if someone's trying to sneak up on her, that yeah. will come into action. But she also can't make general perception checks for the no. party being a mechanical rather than a familiar. Um, so as uh, Phaser is leading you, everyone else is keeping their eyes around, and you notice that as you head north towards the dregs, the Ashfall buildings get filthier and filthier and poorer, unbelievably. Um, you get the sense that Ashfall had been run down and sort of abandoned, but still basically habitable. But as you get to the dregs, you realise it really is the dregs. A lot of the buildings here are made of rotten wood. There's not even much stone left around. The wood itself has gone so grey with ash and soot that as you kind of see people leaning on the walls and it starts to crumble like it's had woodworm in it a hundred years ago and uh, you find your way to the address given and it is a two-story building is probably the nicest way of describing it it's kind of charitably two sheds on top of each other uh, there is no door oh, it appears to be completely blown open a lot of the wall is rotten and missing and you can see straight into the building there is no roof looking up uh, all the kind of the tiles by this point they're kind of more slaty tiles rather than the um, kind of red that you'd seen in the airs they are all chipped and broken and fallen through and you can see some of the roof itself is rotten too <laughs> um. <laughs> Phaser, you just sold your soul for an empty building. Well done. Maybe it's Bit not empty. Should we, yeah. should we have a little... Octavius moves around to the back of the building to make sure that nobody escapes through the back. Okay. Um, you, you, climb... It's not hard. You walk around, you're stood behind it. Lack will climb up. Make me uh, an acrobatics... Uh, athletics check for climbing. Athletics. Okay. Oh, so we're acrobatics... Oh, that's going on. It's very clearly destroyed, is it? You can sort of see into it, and it's very, very destroyed. Okay, Thank cool. Bus one, dirty okay. 20. Grand. So, uh, yeah, you managed to climb up. It's very easy to climb, as there are so many bits of plaster missing. The only mm -hmm. problem is about halfway up, where one of your hand holds just falls out, but you've managed to got such a good grip on the other bit that you reach in, pull yourself into a window, and you're stood on the rotten second floor. You can see half the floorboards are missing and corroded. You can look right down onto the first floor. Can we look through the holes in the in the walls from the street? Of course. Um, see in, any signs of anybody either in there or or any. Make me a perception signs. check. Dirty twenty. So as you look in, it looks very very dark. Um, luckily, the place is quite small. So if you currently have dark vision, which Phaser does, you can see in there. If you do not have dark vision. The moment you stare past it, it just becomes darkness and shadow itself. Um, it looks fairly uninhabited at this point from the outside. <laughs> Is there anybody around on the streets? 
you look around there doesn't seem to be anybody it's become late enough now that people are disappearing into homes you kind of hear a few latchings of doors is there a home uh, on the opposite side of the street to this there are some houses there yeah am i going to knock on the door okay you go you knock on the door there is currently no answer Hello, I'd like some information about the house across the street. Like, it looks pretty derelict. Has anyone lived there before? Just like, knock once for yes and twice for no if you don't open the door. I understand that. Piss off! <laughs> Black's going to try and jump quietly into the first floor and pad around. Make me an acrobatics check, then a stealth check. Okie dokie. Acrobatics is plus seven, so I'm hoping. Yep, yeah, that's 21. 14 plus seven. Nine. Stealth is 15. So, uh, like, manages to find one of the larger holes in the second floor and, uh, for Aspel, sorry, and just drops through onto the first, silently falls into like a tiger's crouch and looks around. And as far as you can tell, uh, you currently don't have dark vision, so it's mm -hmm. very dark very inside. Dark. But you stop and you listen, and you can't hear anything yet. Um, okay. Six would like to light a torch and enter slowly through the front. He's not going to be in stealth, obviously. But yeah, he, that's fine. But wants to look around and see like how long ago it might have been derelict, or if there are signs of anyone Great. recently occupying it. So as you walk in, uh, you walk in, and I say it's very much like a studio kind of apartment. Um, you walk in with your torch brightly lit, at which point Lack kind of recoils a bit as this bright light shines. You can actually see Octavius through a hole on the other side of the wall, just kind of come around the back and waiting. And you see very clearly in the uh, kind of northwestern corner of the room, a small hatch leading down to a basement. Sex dungeon, anyone? Sex dungeon? Sex dungeon? I was sex just dungeon? about to say, is everyone's, <laughs> yeah, everyone's yeah. got a stick, bang on the ground, right? You've always got to check for a sex dungeon. I mean, you've always got to check for a basement. <laughs> basement. Um, maybe one of the quieter of us should uh, enter uh, slowly, and I'll be behind as backup if necessary. I would also suggest that as this door clearly wasn't exactly meant to be advertised, Maybe I should use the spectral hand to open it, just in case they've put some kind of protection or trap behind. Very good idea. Yeah, yeah, I was shout. just going to say that. Yeah, yeah, spectral hand. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, see, we'll come to their mage hand uh, and kind of gesture the hand to go and try lifting the trap door. Okay, so the hand floats over spectrally, grasps Six moves the back. iron ring. Six moves further back. Yeah, how far away, how close are you all standing to this, by the way? Instantly. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still... Okay. As far as possible, that I can still see it. In okay. the room, as far back as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the hand starts pulling back. And pulls up this uh, cellar. And there is a door. No, a hatch leading down into the cellar. Uh, why don't you throw your torch down there, uh, Six Smith? Uh, would we like Phaser with her good eyes to maybe pop her head over and see what she can see yeah. down there before? And then I'm ready to throw it down there. Uh, you want me to put my head in first? Do you want me to like, do you want, so me, to, do you want me to like, do you want me to, well, it seems to dangle you in and then if you say anything, I'll pull you back out again? If anyone benefits like most mission, from putting like their Mission head Impossible in this, style. It's going to be you, Phaser. So, is it not okay. just a set of um, stairs? So just look down the stairs, please. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, uh, not a problem. Okay. Um, uh, you, 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 okay. I'll do that. <laughs> what, the Mission Impossible thing? Uh, um, well, it's, it's stairs, isn't it? Is it stairs? Or is it's it? stairs. Yeah, it's it's stairs. a stairway. Okay. Um, I will try and, and be as, as, as quiet as possible going down the stairs. Can you make me a stealth um, check, please? Yes. <laughs> It's only a plus one, but we'll see. Seventeen. So you your tiny gnome body managed to very stealthily move on these steps, going down very carefully so it doesn't creak. And can you just make me a perception check as you're going down as well, please? All of the dice. Uh eighteen. Sorry, eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. Perfect. So as you stealth down for five six steps suddenly you can see out into the room and it's almost like it, it kind of curves around from the staircase to uh this small very tiny sub basement and on the far corner 
slumped against the wall, you see a figure. Um, okay. And you hear this frenzied breathing. Uh, uh, so I, I call up and say, it, it's okay. And then um, I, I go, go towards the figure. It could be a trap. Be careful. Lax going to like fly past Six Smith down the stairs. Yeah, and Six is going to throw literally, his torch obviously. down there so that it can light up the downstairs now. I'll catch it on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I can say that happens. It's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's interesting. It had been a wooden floor if that just landed on the floor. So as you get down into the basement, uh, you, I'm saying you can all make your way down. Anyone who wishes to make their way back down. Uh, and you crowd I'm around. Gonna, I'm going to just stand at the top of the stairs okay. facing mm. out. I'm so we've gonna... got six lakh and phaser down can there. I, can I call yeah. for a healer? Um, we got a healer? Octavius is still outside. Okay. So Seed joins you all in the basement. And uh, as you get down there, say this figure is slumped and he's got ginger hair and looks awful. Black running down his uh -oh. face in liquids. Uh, but you also touching. notice something else. As you're looking at him, you would all just see you see this blackness running from him. <gasps> <laughs> he kind of phases almost in and out, a bit like the objects did. Shit, 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 shit. And then as he him. phases back in, he <laughs> kind of Everybody constantly back. packs up. Back. It's like Steve from Code Veronica. <laughs> um, Lack's going to put his um, cloak across his face. Yeah, six is right up against the bottom of the stairs. And as he hacks, he <laughs> hacks up this filthy black tar-like material that just <laughs> hits the floor. Okay. Okay. Right down there. Burn that. Burn that with a torch. Um, do we not need? To, wouldn't it be good to get a? Uh, I don't know. Mara will probably have samples, wouldn't they, she? Um, because <laughs> she's. If other people are doing this, I don't know. Um, can 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 he hear us? Can you hear me, Vice? <laughs> You see these tiny eyes open, and again, just the eyeballs are pure black, and he's uh, their faces looking at you. I suppose Lucius sent you. Well, 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 yes, just to 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 see how you are. You... Yeah, right. God, what? just get it done. How long have you been like this? <sighs> Don't look well. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anyone else in the house? Is there anyone else down here? Anyone else upstairs? Just me. <clears throat> what? How? How long? How long have you been like this, Vice? <sighs> what do you mean, the the, the black or well, what, the other yeah. thing? What's the other thing? Now, as I say it again, like his hand. Just Kind of seems to be in that... three places at once, and the kind of well, you know, I'm one. I'm not picky. If you want to tell me when either of these things started, or or both of these things started, that that that's fine. I had a cough for a month, but this I've been phasing it's ever since that fucking crystal. What crystal? Oh, I never should have where... took it. Where where oh. where did you take it to? Where is it? We may be able to stop somebody else from uh, getting the same fate as you. Or, or maybe we can heal you. You may die happy. <sighs> I tried selling it to fucking Mirin. Wouldn't touch it. <laughs> that that was really wise hack. of him. Right, right. Yes. So, took it to the most God's damn place I could think. <sighs> and where is that? The only god who never gave a shit about anyone. Good. Can you all make a uh, insight check? Mm. Oh shit! I've got a three. Well, <laughs> nineteen. Thirty twenty. Twenty three. Uh, so lack and seed, who are in the room currently, uh, will have an inkling that you might know which god this is um and he hacked me i took it to the temple of lurian 
well, what's left of it? <laughs> and then he just starts coughing horrendously. Step back. Step back. When um, you phase, you know, when you are um, sort of disappearing and then reappearing, mm. what do you see? I, I see. Like, it's like a looking through a window at everything that ever existed. I see his smug fucking face. And then he just starts coughing again. And the coughing gets really bad. And this time you can see it's just smattered with blood. And uh, You want me to uh, end your life, young fawn, in a, in a more peaceful and painless manner? He's human. No, but Fawn, dumb, he's human. It's fine. He's he? got hairy okay. legs. It's fine, but um... <laughs> it's hard to see that. Young so man, can't can't hear, you know. Young man, it's very dark. You know, I gave my torch to him. Um, would he you leans like back me to and your life says, peacefully? <laughs> "You're too late." <sighs> and sits back, and you just hear a final exhalation of breath. And then he shits but, himself. That, that no. was very, very lucky timing. If we'd have been <laughs> even five minutes later, we would never have got this information. No. I feel like someone's looking over us, huh? Yeah, all the gods, you know. Well, that's really good, isn't it? Because I went and had a little kneel with that guy. And so, uh, should we go temple? Book DeLorean? Yeah, I mean, you look. Lack, I'm, offend anyway. I'm offended, you know. You were there at the he... inauguration, right? At the swearing in, at Oath, yeah? Yes. And that guy at black hair came along, grabbed hands, and was like, Oh, you're going to kneel with me or what, mate? And then I went and okay. like, you know... Very accurate and then... impression. Rick, oh, I thought you know. that was Aramis. Aramis, no. the god of death, huh? Oh, well, you know, they're all the same, aren't they? No, I don't think they are. <laughs> no, they're very not. And, um, no. Maybe... Oh, I don't know. Maybe... There's I'm a thunder rumble one. somewhere what's in the going? skies. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on? Octavius walks in. You're all taking a very long time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank Mikey you for best. watching the back for us. Uh, we're very helpful. I think we'd better leave. I think we'll you, you know, when, you know when you're hunting mere ribbits, right? And one of them's already been injured and you've got to mercy kill it. That's what went down downstairs, yeah? You killed um, someone. I think no, no, no. we talked him to death. Before we leave, can we have a little look around and see if there's any, any other kind of uh, uh, hint or clue or anything of interest? that If he's, if he's a thief, there might be something Make else. Make me there. an investigation. Check, please. Why did you not call for me? I could have healed him and then he might have died. <laughs> I think it's the plague, uh, Octavius. I know you have uh, oh. such powers, but. Got a nine. So, not a lot. There is a lot of filth. Uh, you get the sense that he's been down here a few days at least, hadn't left, probably hadn't eaten or moved, and has just been coughing and hacking for a long time. It stinks of human putrefaction, of defecation, of urine, and of this, uh, again, quite acrid, oily smell that you've been smelling everywhere where you've kind of come into contact with the mysterious black substance. Um, fr friend Seed, you think if I if I gave you a little vial, you could perhaps, uh, your, your mage hand might be able to, to take a little sample of this, of this black You want substance? to carry this thing around with us? Just a little bit. I feel I mean, it might be useful. I think to maybe we can just inform the uh, the hospital of the whereabouts of this man. They can come in with their suits, uh, and they look can look what do it it's done to this poor man. I, 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 this I don't is want why this I thought. To you. This is why I thought if if I can get a vial and with the mage hand, I don't have to touch it. Those, those vials are you, made of glass, glass with right? it, then, aren't you? When you're doing the mage hand, can you look inside his pockets? Maybe he has something in there. I don't know. Is that possible? Okay, I'm very happy to send the hand in. And actually, I think Phaser is correct, because if you think about it, you can put poison inside a glass vial and it will not leak out, touch you, or kill you. So therefore... Unless the vial is broken. And that, well... that concerns me. Maybe you could have your mage hand carry it uh, uh, ahead of us or behind us the whole time. I have it no idea. worries me. And Octavius, wild shapes into a wolf. And I thought it was only a what tries to sniff out oh, the vial. Great circus ghost. What is it? You can find there is plenty of this material lying around. He's been very ill for days. Is there any any areas small. where it's strongest and weakest where he may have like been sleeping or something? 
you get the sense that where he died is probably where he's been slumped for days. Okay. Uh, I did. I, 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 there is I mean, nothing it, here. Oh, it's well, I was utterly your, your chin, call. Mate. It's it's completely your call, but um, I'd be very concerned for you. I just, I, I just, I feel like it might be uh, helpful for Imara, but I mean, if you guys don't want to do it, then I understand we can, we can absolutely tell Imara. You know, I feel here. by now they would have enough of this, this okay. kind of thing. Okay. Um, but we can point them in the direction of this. Maybe we can uh, move some bits of wood in front of the door. Maybe try and keep thieves out. Uh, Did we see someone with this plague in that place, Johnny? Not this advanced. Right. Although Imara had said that she'd lost people. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, okay. maybe, maybe anybody... it is a wise thing to do. I just don't want if to we be don't, too if dangerous. If we don't need so. it, if we don't need it, but I thought it might be useful for for research. But okay, that's mm. okay. I mean, does he have the crystal on him? Has anybody checked his pockets for that? He's taken it to the Temple of Lurian. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Which um, um, I feel like we should probably go now. Okay. Okay. Before we leave, did you want me to check his pockets? It could be helpful, you know. I mean, obviously he's in his own effluent, and it's it's maybe he's not carrying anything useful on him, but possibly just before we go, if that's okay. Uh, yeah. So um, the hand will still have been bobbing around this entire time, cousin it style, uh, and so it's <laughs> going to kind of come down the come down the stairs, uh, like scuttling by you all, uh, and then uh, oh. so he's going to kind of direct it to um, go over and sort of very gently. Kind of have a look in his pockets but uh the way that it's kind of being done is seed is obviously a little bit uncomfortable slightly at uh the fact that this man is clearly pretty covered in you know splatter influence yeah uh, so it's, it's all quite ginger you know uh going going through i mean he was wasn't he he was um not anymore so as you <laughs> seeds major hand goes through it finds one copper a broken piece of string that's just frayed and rubbed, oh. brown and a bit slimy. I guess uh, that answers the question, how long's a bit of string, eh? Eh? <laughs> oh a man just died. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and you also find a tiny wooden charm to Alluria. I like that. <laughs> um... It uh, you maybe you should stay with his him. Body. Maybe... Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should keep those things. Thank you for checking. These things may be tarnished with the plague. Maybe we should just leave him here. Okay. So he's going to direct the mage hand to just very gently take the little wooden charm uh, and put it into the guy's hand. So he's okay. sort of like holding his his little oh, charm. It it feels like if this place wouldn't go up with him, we should probably set him on fire. Ah. Uh... I was thinking either that or we close the latch on the thingy and we smash it so it jams. So if he transforms into something, he ain't getting out. Oh, of I, d I didn't I mean like, like that. I meant more like to stop the plague spreading. But uh... yeah, the place is destroyed anyway. We wouldn't lose anything by setting. We like might destroy other people's houses. Well, like if we if we set fire to the everything is so so broken yeah, so down. I, I feel. I agree. Like... Agree. You may set fire to the entire neighborhood. Okay, break the latch, go mm. back to the hospital, tell them about the person down there, yes. let them handle and, it, they um, have their protocols. And, okay. and I, um, I'll, I'll, I'll and use prestigitation just to, to, to clean everybody off of anything that might have... Okay, so yeah, you use prestidigitation to clean yourselves off as best as possible. Uh, you exit the building and find yourself standing back in the ashfall. You said you wanted to head back to the hospital. No, no I want to go to the temple Lurian. first. Okay. Lurian, Lurian. So you find yourself walking south towards the cinders to search out the ruined temple of the god who is not mentioned, Lurian. And that is where we are going to go to break. So folks, we will see you back in a short time. See you soon. Thank you.
Hello and welcome back. So uh, our party find themselves in the streets. Finally, a location for this strange missing object um, that they hope is going to bring some answers. It's uh, located in the Temple of Lurian in the Cinders, the heart of the Cinders to the south of the city. Now, the Cinders was the part of the city that was destroyed in the Great Flame Storm of a few hundred years ago, and in fact, uh, lack and uh, Ripper had been there earlier and had walked through and as you guys get to the edge of the Ashfall and night is very much upon you now, it's about 8pm as you head into the cinders and it is the smell of kind of black uh, wood and char and soot is overwhelming. Um, even though the fire's been dead for hundreds of years, something about the smell still lingers and you find yourself walking through these deserted buildings. Is there anything you'd like to do on your journey? Uh, it's alright team, me and Lat were here earlier, ain't no person, we can just head straight to the temple, ain't no one's going to bother us. Uh, Octavius Cedar's ignores gonna him. Yeah. <laughs> Cedar's like... going to specifically look out for anyone moving in the shadows or kind of around them as they're travelling. Okay. Octavius uh, takes the opposite watch. Can you make perception checks if you do not have night vision, they are at disadvantage. Uh, Dark vision, what? sorry. That's a seven from me. Okay. I'm not bad. Fifteen at disadvantage, that's not bad. Is this everybody rolling this? Anyone who's looking, yeah, anyone okay. who's looking around. Oh. You wouldn't have disadvantage phase as you have night vision. I think Thanks. there's dark vision. Sorry. I think this um, dice is loaded. That's the third seven I rolled in a row. Get so rid of it, that's a thirteen. Get rid of it. I've got 12. Okay. Um, but I, I, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> okay, so this, as you walk through, the streets feel spooky. They've got that haunted feel. The place, uh, the feeling of walking through a building that no one's lived in for over 300 years. Um, there's a sense that once there was life here, once there were people walking these streets, falling in love, laughing, talking, eating, you see the burned out ruins of the Tavernas, similar to the ones that you'd seen uh, up in the coin row and um, you see burned out hostels similar to one you've been staying in and you very much feel uneasy as you walk through these roads um you kind of take a moment to think about the people that may have been here and your various paths that have led you here and how weird this feels and you don't seem to notice anything at all there's no life here you don't even hear birds or squirrels or um, insects kind of rummaging there seems to be nothing even the wind seems to have sort of died down and the ashes it's slowly dripping kind of glinting in the moonlight to look a little bit more like snow um, has this kind of unsettling feel upon you all as you find your way through can you uh, whoever is leading the party make me a survival check please uh probably be six smith is that fair to say i think he normally leads the party in terms i think of being the, i the think i was just i think ripple was whatever. just walking straight through like he didn't make perception checks earlier you knew there was no one here okay well six you make me a if you're going to walk out in front of everyone else you make me the perception check then uh, um, uh, survival check please can i make use my little magical tinkering to get a little tiny device to make uh, a bit of radius of light of course, and maybe can. pass that to Six Smith if he's at the lead. Yep, of course. Thank you. Thank you. What is that? Does that do anything to the roll? Uh, uh, that do you're not at disadvantage you, now. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. In that case, I rolled a 19 on my survival. On survival, check. fantastic. Yeah. So, um, from the from Vi uh, Vice's vague descriptions, you're walking through the streets looking for the temple. You get the sense that uh, in the north of the city and all the other bits you've seen there was a sort of a common layout to the roads and the streets that they all seem to lead you towards the forum where the other temples were likewise in this burned out district you seem to find that the roads are leading you a certain direction and after maybe 30 minutes of walking through these cold quiet streets you get to uh, what probably once was the forum and you notice several burned out buildings and destroyed temples and then uh, you also see standing on its own a little bit to the side 
kind of not exactly in the center frustratingly off center of the forum just like enough to annoy someone. yeah uh, you see a small well fairly fairly small uh 10 20 70 foot long building um that's one story it once had a dome on it but that dome appears to have crumbled uh you approaching from the north uh east you can see what looks like to be a very very dim light shining out of a hole in the side of the building well i was wrong earlier when i said there was no one else here there's probably someone in there I already really show if it's this. someone or something. Only one way to find out, Seed. So as you walk closer, you notice uh, a blackened piece of bronze above the uh, kind of archway that's leading into the building. And it has a half a broken saying in a language you don't none of you recognize and there's a little bit of a sigil which appears to be a laughing face and you would all kind of recognize this at least to be clearly the temple of lurian the god of chaos what sort of condition is the temple in can we see uh, oh, how well fucked. kept this is yeah. oh, okay <laughs> like the whole place is totally ruined right 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 can so we it doesn't... Um... go on sorry I was just going to say, can we, can we, can we hear anything before we go through? Is there a doorway? Make me a perception check. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there is no what you can see from the because you're now kind of coming straight to the east onto it. You can see a faint light shining out. There's no you can see what would once have been an archway in which has crumbled and there's now bits of loose stone in. You can sort of see some light shining out from the north as well, where you figure there's probably a hole in the wall there. Again, it's very, very dim. Um, what was your perception check? 23. 23. So um, as you get close, with your keen hearing, you just hear like a, a strange dissonant hum. Do we recognise the hum from any of the glitching or anything that we've seen before, or is that...? You don't, no. No, okay. Um, okay. Um, do I tell everyone...? I'll, I'll tell everyone what I hear, um, just in case they can't. Um, it may be prudent we... to be swift if there is something untoward going on right now. Yes, maybe some kind of ritual. Um, does somebody who is fast and quiet want to... Uh, rush forwards for us. Are you talking about me, Six? You could have just said my name. Yeah? I think so, brother. I didn't want to nominate you. You know, it's rude, but um, yeah, I think it might be you. Okay. And he pulls the cloak up around him and tries to go quickly, quietly. Before he leaves, I cast resistance on him. Okay. And what are you making him I... resistant to? Uh, no, resistance is just uh, plus four to uh, oh, okay. saving throw. Thank you, Octavius. Oh, thank you, Octavius. Don't resist until you have to call out which element they are being resistant to. No, it's not it's resistance a... to an element. It's um, the can. Is it, it cantrip? It's a cantrip that gives you plus four to saving throws. Right. A d4, okay. sorry, d4. A d4. Fine. If that's in the next thirty seconds or for the next minute. 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 Okay. So, can you just make me a stealth check then, please? I can Black. certainly try. Here we go. Mm. Yes, I can. 13 plus 7, dirty 20. So as uh, on your silent feet, you edge closer to the eastern wall and you see this hole through. How far back is everyone else, incidentally? Um, I guess... Oh, where did we stop? So essentially, uh, if Lack has gone on ahead, I'm assuming so far he's gone on a full turn, so 30 feet, a full round of movement ahead of you. I'd probably stay I 30 think... feet behind him or, or something, I think. I think we should start moving towards the entrance. Yeah, I'll move one sort of step, as it were. Not a literal step, but one so, step behind. So five feet forward, or are you going your whole movement towards him? 
I don't want to. No, I want him to be ahead of me for stealth because I don't want to break his stealth because I'm not very stealthy. But I'd, okay. I'd go like half my, you know, like a regular movement. So I'd say he's got to be about thirty foot ahead if you want to completely maintain stealth. If you're going to go kind of within fifteen feet of him, I'm going to get you to roll stealth checks too. Yeah, I just want to stay outside of the range. We, we'll be fourteen. Be his, yeah. We'll make our way fourteen feet to that. Fourteen point nine. I think. Feet. I think we wait until we can't see, like, and then we all move forward together towards the entrance 14, 14 feet. well anyone who doesn't have dark vision by this point you've lost sight of black mm -hmm. as he moves into the shadows beyond 10 feet of you um okay. so at this point only phaser can actually see black and me okay and you sorry octavius as uh he gets right up he's about 10 feet away from the arch by this point okay and uh seed as you get closer sorry seed uh like as you get Closer within. I totally realised I have dark vision, by the way. Sorry. So. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, all that time. I'll take hey. my. I'll Seems take fun. my thing back. <laughs> Not a problem. Then, uh, Lack, you see in the middle, st looking straight in, you see a large central pillar that would once have held up the roof, that is um, sort of green and moulded like uh, bronze, long gone burnished tarnished um, yeah. yeah very tarnished bronze uh, a little bits are still burnished and shining through but but not very much you can kind of make out the in some intricate kind of carvings there once but that's that's gone mm -hmm. um and you can see now that the this sound that it's like someone singing playing an f and singing in f sharp it's that kind of really frustrating semitone hats off, dissonance Jim, Jim. hats off um <laughs> that sound is just coming from just around the doorway to your right that you can't see from where you are. You would actually have to enter the mm -hmm. temple to see it. So I can't see anything in the vicinity. No, here. you just see sort of a, um, a, the column in front of you, mm -hmm. and then you can see darkness to your left, mm -hmm. and you can see uh, this light and hear this sound from the right. Mm -hmm. um, Six would know that that means everything's clear. Of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. Um, so I, I'll make my way up and and lead the I lead the party. I think as well if they can see me, and we okay. and we move up to just crouch behind, hidden but behind um, uh, lack. I can't. I, uh, I can't see nothing. Can someone hold my hand, please? <laughs> Octavius, where are you? Octavius, give me your hand. Octavius, give me hand, Octavius. Forward. <laughs> Octavius, where are you? I'll come searching for you. I'll come searching for you. Shh, shh. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, as uh, you move forward, are you all moving into the temple? Oh, Jesus, um, where are you? Give me your hand. Black will Give just hand. pop round the corner. Okay. So, as Lack pops his <laughs> head around the corner, area, you see... Literally. I'm just moving you. In his <laughs> yellow robes. <laughs> you can see a figure looks like a figure it looks like three figures standing where one figure should be standing completely blurred and where before you'd seen an object glitch kind of momentarily mm. and you'd seen the um uh you've seen feist kind of move this looks like a person is fragmented their face looks like you've put a Photoshop filter on it to turn them into a mosaic. That any time you try and look at any one feature, it's switching in and out of reality and moving around so quickly. Um, they are got their back to you. All you can make out is some kind of dark-ish hair, maybe, um, facing something. You can see behind them, it looks like a statue. Um, statue of this kind of golden looking figure holding a staff, the face uh, lit up by whatever it is behind it. No face, just completely blank on the face, um, but just kind of long cowl over it. And this figure's just stood in front of it. Like, what's going on? Um, I think this might be something everyone needs to check out. We can we Scooby Doo like our heads like Ooh. one on top of each other <laughs> going around the door? <laughs> you would have to move in a little bit into the temple. So let's say, what's the order of people 
moving in. So to give you some spatial reference, um, in fact, to give you some spatial reference, what you can do is if you would like to log on to our virtual tabletop foundry, um, if you haven't, I will activate the map. It should load in. Activate in the just map. A second. Um, please, can you let me know if it isn't working for you and i've currently got you fantastic i've got you very roughly positioned at the moment so let's uh then decide where we would like to move on the joys of uh, virtual tabletop as opposed to just having all the minis which by the way in the interlude hopefully this christmas my 200 plus minis from the uh, kickstarter i've ordered will turn up so as soon as i can source some decent terrain (laughs) We can get first. a second camera and actually do uh paper mache, yeah, that's mate. Paper bit. mache your terrain. Just like blue Peter. Old it. school. Old Had school. I the time, that would be the dream. Um I can't see yes, anything. It's loaded, so... it's loaded in for me. Just loaded, loaded in. in me. Yeah. Ripper is is it black for anybody? Oh no, wait, wait. Yeah, I've got it. It's here, it's here. I'm trying, to, it's trying to um zoom out. Oh but, because right. Because it's, it's Okay. Me. So um Let's so see. Uh, Lack, sorry, is in front. Mm-hmm. Where would everyone else like to move to? You're currently also in the east. Who would like to move up next? As they come in, can I scoot round the other side of that pillar? Okay, so you're going to use uh, essentially 30 feet of movement to yeah. get to the western side of the pillar. Mm-hmm. About there? Yeah, the western side so of the pillar, which is just behind uh, the southwest pillar, yeah. of the pillar. Yeah, so yes. the thing is to the north of me. Yeah. Fantastic. Each square is five feet. Uh, so let's just go with who I got next to me, Octavius. Who would you like? Where would you like to move uh, to? Okay, if we're moving, are we moving in in a like? Is this like initial positions? Is it? I'm yeah, sure. this is okay. how you walk into the temple. Okay, I would like. Been to... told it's all clear essentially. Yeah, I would like to move in and move south about ten feet above the broken wall. Uh, so. 5, 10, 15, do you mean roughly about there? Uh, so literally to the south? 5 foot to the right. 5 foot to the right. There so we go. there we go. Yeah. So standing in the centre of the ruin uh, to the south, so yes, you're by the broken wall to the south. Um. So to the to the south uh, east of the of the pillar, yes. there's a, a broken a bit of wall there. Is is How, how big is that? Do, do we, that would be go? about 3 feet high. Perfect. Look at me being three foot two. Could um, myself and Toots scoot okay. behind that? So yourself and Toots will walk. It's just to the south. Yes, it, it, kind of the bottom half of I like that little Toots the icon, by the way. We've got a nice I know, new toots well icon. done. I like Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Quickly doodled by me today. Uh, okay, so Ripper, where would you like to move? Uh, to the right where the pillar that, um, that Lack is next to. Can I sort okay. of go the diagonal opposite side of that to him on the north? Okay, so you're going to be about 10 foot away from this shining figure. Yep. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> uh, seed? Uh, so to the southwest, um, there seems to be another piece of broken kind of wall or rubble there. Okay, uh, so you're going to head down to the southwest around there-ish, uh, right into the corner there. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. And then six. Good sniping spot. Yeah. yeah, parallel to Octavius. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna nestle myself um, two squares to the west of Ripper, so that I'm near Lack and Ripper in like a triangle. Effectively. Okay. So right by the west of the building, essentially on the on the wall that hasn't corroded or broken. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you all walk in. Can you all just make me stealth checks, everyone who's just moved in? <laughs> I'd known that. I wouldn't have walked in. Would you like another one for me, or yes, please? Still... Pick a different mm. dice this time. I got a seven, so I guess I'm practically oh. drumming my way in. Is yeah, I've got worse? seven as well. Fuck, What's I got going five, on? twelve, and that's bad for me. I've seven. got seven. That's bad for you. Okay, so I think it's safe 14, to say that 14, as a whole, we bad. noisily Ripper. walk in. <laughs> Ripper, <laughs> stop singing along stop to, to, to the to drum beat of hand, <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> so in this building, you now have dim light, at least at the top of the building. Uh, we're in roughly... Ooh, um, so everyone kind of south of the pillar, 
it's in the bottom half of the building. You can see the events of the pillar, but by about where you are, it, it's dark. Uh, it's about 15, 20 foot down, it becomes dark. So you're suddenly looking at this figure who whips round to look at you. And uh, let's see if I can do this. So that should now show you the picture. It genuinely and... looks like someone's put a Photoshop filter on it, Johnny. Thank you. <laughs> that would be because someone has put a Photoshop filter. <laughs> uh, your, your DM explanation was, was perfect. I know, it's <laughs> <Just> close. <laughs> it's, uh, yep, yeah, and the wife didn't in mind being used. And it's, as this being well, now, is... Hang on, we can't fight this person now if it's your wife. Yeah. Just, just, Ripper uses all of his smites all at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is for not letting him play games that weekend. <laughs> no, she would never do that. She's you amazing. Shouldn't have mentioned um, it because I can see it now. I wouldn't have seen. Yeah, it I know. Me Sorry, too. guys. It's fine. Um, so this figure whips around and looks at you. And again, there's this sense of just not really being in one position. It's very hard to look at them. And uh, this voice. Can you all just make me a quick perception check? As the figure turns round. Oh, that didn't roll well. Oh my god. Terrible. Nine. Nineteen. Oh. Brad, that was that really good or really bad, Brad? So I rolled a three on the last roll. I rolled a two now. So that's an eight. Brad, can you throw that <laughs> dice? Can you throw that dice across that's the room? Different dice. Throw that's right four now. different dice. Get it away from you. <laughs> Get them all away from you. It's almost like and I'm well aware I'm going to alienate a lot of people with this, but like nonsense dice superstition, uh, superstition doesn't actually exist. <laughs> I think the luck is I'm with tied you. to I'm the with person, you, Johnny. not the dice. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely is. Yes, luck is a thing. <laughs> sure. Um, so as anyone over 12, essentially, as this figure turns around, you notice that the glowing light kind of shimmers and moves, ripples over the floor, and you see that they are surrounded by dead bodies. Um, and all the bodies on the floor have got black oil dripping out of them as kind of red cuts and marks across them. It looks like they've been quite viciously attacked and killed. Um, and this figure turns and looks up and it's hard to get a sense of where eyes are with the shifting and the kind of fragmenting that's happening. Um, but they look at you and they say, I saw you. Will you come? Again, it's really hard to kind of get a beat of their voices. It sounds like it's phasing in and out of reality. It says, from the void, he has returned. Who? I thought she, I thought she Tell had us returned. how to help you. Tell us how to help you. We can help you. Just let us know what to do. Fig looks at you again, and it's like they are looking at you and looking through you simultaneously you get this sense that they might not have the greatest awareness of you being physically there and yet somehow it feels like they know exactly where you are too it's very hard to describe but it's this very otherworldly feeling um i remember infinity it was so beautiful um, can you ready an action outside of combat, or is that really like a is that a combat thing? I would say at the moment. Mm, it's okay if you can't. I just I just wasn't sure. I just, just wanted it's to a get very... a hand axe out, and if if anyone it looks like anyone's getting attacked, I'd like to throw a hand axe at the at the. Figure. What I would say is that I would think that if you'd snuck up on someone and they're not aware you're there then you can ready something and you'll get that surprise. I think you can, as your action now, pull out a hand axe. Yeah, I want to do it subtly though. I want to pull it out and just place it down by my side. Okay, I've make a slice of hand assistance. check. Dirty 20. All right. Okay. So you manage to pull out the sound axe Shling, kind of... it comes out of like the sleeve Shling, yeah with that cool noise subtly as uh this figure's attention is diverted sort of looking around the room you hide it and it's hidden behind you for the moment 
it seems to be looking at you. Why do you hear his voice too? Again. Who? Nah. Nah, love. Nah, sauce. And he seems to lean forward. Ah, oh, the voices, voices, voices. Endless. Endless. And then just a scream comes out. And I would like you all to roll initiative, please. Ooh. Fifth dice. Fifth dice. <laughs> An 18. Right, that's just, this is there you the go. Dice. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I should probably do this. It's cocked. Ooh. Uh, so, 25 to 20. Octavius? Yeah, sorry. I mean, uh, 22. Okay. So Octavius, um, twenty to fifteen. I pass seventeen. Hey, sir. Um, sixteen. So it's gonna go. Um, Toots, Toots comes after me. Yeah, he'll go on. Uh, she will go on your turn. Sixteen's a lack. <coughs> lack. Oh, you were tied with Phaser then. On sixteen, but you'll have better decks, I, won't you? I assume I'm going to go first. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Just swap those around. Okay, 15 to 10. 11. Okay. Uh, at six. At the end. You've rolled, you've rolled low on initiative five, darling, every five. single time. He takes his five. time. He five, just darling. likes to see. He's got an axe, doing axe, axe you know? ready though, isn't he? Okay, yeah. so as uh, this scream comes out, these eyes kind of suddenly lock onto you. And for a moment, the figure coalesces into a single form for half a moment, and you see golden robes flowing down. And then for a second, they shimmer back out again, and the figure is three. And it just uh, says, You cannot. Trespass on this property. And uh, Octavius, what would you like to do? Ah. I would like to call out Bird as uh, the spirit is summoned about 10 feet above. Don't do it. It's rubbish. Don't do it. Above him. Uh, directly to the north of him. Uh, yes. Okay, so with this summoning like a tiny flame appears out of nothing and coalesces into the form of this tiny bird uh, that just floats or hovers 10 feet in front yep. of you so just above toots and to the front and uh i'm trying to find where it is now or maybe it's changed since tasha's was released uh it should i need to do no it's been removed it's... okay yeah it's been removed so, uh, yeah, it doesn't take any damage. Okay, so it will uh, just sit there. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, with my bonus action, I would like to command it to uh, attack the thing with its ranged attack. Okay, can you... Uh, is it a magic attack or physical? It is a ranged weapon attack. Which weapon attack? Can you make it at disadvantage, please? I can indeed. Uh, that is a th eleven. So as this bird uh, flies and attempts to sort of dash into the figure, it gets confused as it blurs and fragments, and it flies in, and it's almost like the head just disappears for a moment and then pops back into reality. And the bird flies harmlessly back, returning to its position. Uh, that ends oh. my go. Okay, Ripper, what would you like to do? Ripper, with his newly found uh, powers of 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 the of the Lord. Uh, actually, well, is there a way to find out whether this is undead or not? You could ask. You could. Uh... Hello, are you an undead, by any chance? 
You could make a perception check or you could examine the body. I would say this so far is something outside of the realm of your experience. Mm. Very, very true. Very, very true. I will... I want to basically like... I want to I want to use command and I want to make it not phase. So you can use the spell. Pull commands. yourself together, man. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay, so That's what's the saving throw it's, it's making? 13. Wisdom saving throw, 13. Just want to say music's excellent. Thank Music's you, Johnny. Hit up. Thank you, Johnny. I have it. Kicked in okay. just when we needed it. So you shout out this command word and the figure just again is phasing in yeah, and out of reality now. seems nice. to unnote to not really notice what you've said oh probably means it's undead um uh well then yeah that's my go can't do nothing else thank you very much okay black okay so she said no trespassers right she hasn't attacked yes. us yet has she nope Okay, so I am going to delay my... Can I move my point turn in the initiative to be after hers? Or, I tell you what, I will I hold... Think delaying is a thing. Isn't it? I will hold an action. Delaying I'll, is a thing. Yeah, no, do you know you what? Hold, not... Well, because delaying is a holdover, really. You really can hold yeah. an action for later. Okay, I'll hold an action, so keep my space in the initiative. I will hold an okay. action, and I will yeah. throw my spear at her... If she attacks any of us, notice. Okay, you are hold, currently holding a, hell of a thrown spear. Phaser, that puts it to you and Toots. Um, can so so the uh, just to clarify, so the, the three figures, it, yes. it, is that like a, a shimmery, shadowy effect, like or is it is it literally like that that she is now three people or he, she or he? Um, they appear to be one person who is essentially phasing. It's like when you're really, really drunk and you look at someone and they're sort of coming in and out. Okay. That's probably the best way of describing it. That It's not like three distinct people. Okay. It is very much one person, but something about them doesn't seem to be uh, entirely corporeal. Okay. Um, I would like to... Cast uh, prestigitation, but um, I don't. I don't know if this works. So I can create. Um, oh no, that's only. Mm, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about doing like a little illusion of. Uh, um, maybe I could do that. Can I make a a sound behind her of uh, tumbling stones or something to make her think that there are other trespassers? Sure. Hmm, how do we do this? I would say make me. So the illusion will appear, definitely. Yeah. Um, you can roll a deception check and they will roll perception. Okay. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, shit. Please tell me you rolled really badly. <laughs> no, I, uh, I got a three. It's just not great. Plus nothing. Okay. So. They did slightly better than that. Um, as this sound of falling stone appears behind, um, the figure seems completely unfazed and just carries on looking at you. Right, that was going to be a good idea. Um, Can I just say, it's more work for Dan, but we need to put this drum track, this this action battle track behind the podcast at some point, otherwise people are going to think we're all mad. Just Why, you're, you're around. Well, on a podcast, no one's going to notice that we're dancing, Sean. Yeah, no one's yeah. going to notice. Oh, yeah. That we're... <laughs> and just the... right now, we look like idiots. To yeah, now, the now you've no, made it awkward. It does appear in the stream. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah. Sound okay. off in the chat if you can hear this. Okay. This bang. This bang oh, yeah, soundtrack. They're... They can <laughs> definitely hear it. I made sure they could. And they rave in. Is that why you can tell? <laughs> right. Anyway, anyway, so Toots, your turn. <laughs> um, Toots, I think um, Toots is probably going to move to okay. um, one, two, I think just southwest of Sixsmith. Okay, so moving essentially four squares to the um, north, four? it's northwest. But southwest yeah. of six, okay. Yes. So there's the, the square that's southwest of six. Okay. So currently he's... about uh, twenty feet away at a diagonal from this figure. Yes, that's right. Um, okay. 
And the only other things that he's got are either defensive or attacking, and I don't really want to provoke her yet, so I'm probably going to... Can I hold um, uh, um, Toots' actions like a like a person? Is that possible? No, your, your, um, your summon beast has to go on your turn. You can hold your action. Okay. But I don't think you can hold... I might be wrong on that, so I can always check after this episode, and I'm happy okay. to fix going forward. But I think you can only hold your action. No problem. All right then. I will. Um, I will have Toots uh, stay there for now, and I'll. That okay. will probably be the end of my turn because I don't want to provoke anything yet. Oh, um, no, because that would be an action, wouldn't it? Don't worry. Yes. It got me. <laughs> so, uh, the creature looks at all of you, and uh, is looking pretty. Oh, well, yeah, unsure. But it's seen this bird just attempt to fly through it. It's heard these stones, and uh, it just says, Hurrian will have your souls. And uh, suddenly, you see, I need um, everyone to make me a um, constitution. No, no. Charisma, sorry. Charisma saving throw. Couldn't read my own oh. writing. Oh, oh, oh. no. Why? <laughs> Shut your face. Is that minute up, by the way? I don't think it is, is it? I would say by this point, it's this is probably the last round of it. So if you wanted to use it, you Thanks, can use it. Thanks, Brad. Do you know what? I'm going to use that. Thank you so much. <laughs> So that's one D4. On oh, and he rolled a four. I think I fucking needed Ooh. it, dude. I think okay. I needed it. So uh, the DC on this is 16. So six <sighs> would be safe. Smashed it. Bradley, I love you. <laughs> I am so I am not safe. It would black, not have, to black. It would back not have black. mattered if Octavius had casted on himself because he got an eight. Do okay. I do I roll separately for Toots? Because you do, toots yes. Got... Oh, here we go. Okay. Come on, Toots. <laughs> she... to toots did not do well either. <laughs> it could okay. not be a 16. Seeds, did you save? 24. Okay, so uh, Octavius, Phaser and Toots, you, as this uh, being screams, you feel this bizarre energy go through you a little bit like the explosion earlier, um, but whereas that had been kind of a very forceful, kind of radiant burning, this feels like like part of your soul has been kind of ripped away from where it should be, nice. and um, you have been baned. So any attack rolls oh, you make, no. or any get out, <laughs> or any saving throws uh, will be minus a d4. Wow, okay. I love this spell. Um, and uh, that is currently what the fragment does. See, can I, can I uh, ask how that spell is, uh, just a noob question, how is hmm. how is that spell dissipated or can it be dissipated at all? Or... So Bane, uh, essentially uh, you could have someone cast Restoration on you. Now I believe you get to... This is the one thing I didn't write down in my notes. I think you get to make a save at the end of... Um... No, basically, it stays on you until um, it loses concentration. As in the beat, the, the, the creature yes. that cast it? The phasing creature that none of us can hit because it's phasing in and out. So uh, I forgot to, to be Bane I've for the rest of bird. the day. Oh, now he's dancing to the music. And now yeah, it's so his dancing to, to his bird. beat. <laughs> Yes, please do birds too. Birds. Funny, yeah. can I just interrupt before Seed has a go because she just attacked my friends and me, which uh. meets all of my triggers. It does. You may throw your spear. Huh. Oh, mean... and me. I have an axe that I. Oh no, I just. But I readied it. What does that mean? Bird. You, you readied the axe. You readied mm. the axe. But you didn't throw that, the, what would that didn't... do? Give me you advantage maybe on image. the attack or something. I don't know. On your turn, you can choose to throw the axe, and you've got it instantly in your hand. Okay. Bird fails, by the way. That's not gonna hit. It's not gonna <laughs> hit, even if she wasn't phasing. Oh. Okay, so it was a good. It was a good practice. So the spear throws through as you see this uh, strange kind of ethereal light flash out. You release your spear, uh, like, and it flies forward again, looking straight for the heart of the being, and it just passes through. She doesn't even move, and then it returns to your hands. 
I look back at my brother. Uh, a spear when it comes back like that. Proper Bollywood look. Seed, it is now your turn. <laughs> uh, so sorry, remind me, which people just got baned? So baned now are um, Octavius, his bird, Toots, and Phaser. All the pet, all the pet keepers. Okay. No. Um. Uh. Okay. So Seed, obviously, seeing you guys respond to what's just happened, uh, is going to choose to give Bardic Inspiration to Phaser to hopefully help her out. Okay. Uh, what does that do? So what you're going to get is uh, an inspiration dice, which is 1d6. For 10 minutes, you can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Thank um, and you. And you can add it after you see the roll, but it's got to be before you know the outcome. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah. So basically, Siege kind of raises their drum. And uh, with a beat, remarkably, like the one <laughs> we're hearing now. Convenient. <laughs> so much maths to do because I've got to take away a D4 and then add a D6. It'll be grand. Don't worry, everybody. Incredible how Seed is playing multiple drums with the one drum. <laughs> it is magical drumming. It is a magical drum. <laughs> it is magical drumming. I, I hate that for some reason Foundry's not playing me this music, but it's okay. Oh. Don't let it distract from the combat, everybody. You carry on. <laughs> okay, so Seed, you're up. What are you going to do? Okay, this might be a terrible plan, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, Seed is going to try Charm Person on Ooh. the figure. Okay. Uh, make, uh, so as you release your magic, well, let me just check the wording of that spell. This is where I don't know if I've fallen horribly into your specific trap. <laughs> Most possibly. Um, okay. Okay. Wisdom save. What's the DC? Uh, 14. 14. So as it rolls a 19, uh, this spell, you kind of release this drumming pattern and everyone else is momentarily like, oh damn, funky beat. Um, and <laughs> exact words. Uh, but this being just seems unmoved. And six, unless you'd like to move anywhere, Seed. Six, you're up. All right. Um... I'm gonna release that axe, but I'm gonna do it with both hands, like a sort of God of War axe throw. Okay, one make of, maybe an, even a, with a little jump. Okay, Not make an attack roll, roll at disadvantage, please. Hard attack. God of War, not light attack. Yes, a heavy attack, exactly. R two attack. Yeah. Can I, why am I at disadvantage, by the way? Do I know why I'm at disadvantage? Because this creature is blurring in and out Basing of reality. Oh, okay, okay, not bad. Attack. Oh, hold on, it's in another area. I was looking at all my bits and pieces I can do. There we are. Disadvantage. Oh, not bad. I got a 17 at disadvantage. And I, and I think if it hits, if it hits, I'd like to do a, a maneuver. Um, okay. You know. So uh, as you throw this axe, you throw a, a half a second after the spear had been thrown. And you see the spear pass through, so you aim slightly to the right, and you hear a clunk as the spear, uh, the axe does seem to hit in, and this creature yeah. gives out a scream. Uh, roll damage. Oh, nice. Damn, brother. Um, as a bonus, I go, it doesn't come back to me, but you know, it's still pretty good. <laughs> it's a need to come back if you hit them. <laughs> um, so I'll roll for damage, and then let me just check. I don't want to muck up the order. Oh, that's a that's a bad roll, but I did seven uh, it's slashing damage, is it? Seven slashing damage. And then I'd like to do uh, uh, a maneuver. Is that seven plus your stat? Was that with the um, it's just, strength it's added? Just, it's just a straight... Yeah, it's it's because it's I rolled a one plus six for my okay, modifier, cool. which, is, which is horrendous. But um, I'd like to try... Well, hang on, plus six for damage? Yeah. I've got. I'm, I don't know how. How have you got the extra? Like you basically have to have twenty-one strength there. There's something definitely wrong with that. Well, yeah, listen. You're welcome to have a look in my character build, but I'm fairly yeah. sure. I think it's. Um, no, I have no idea why. Enjoy me, having a look at my. Uh, yeah, will do. I have. I have. Yeah. Are you sure you're strength. not reading the plus six to hit, and it's plus four? No. 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 Oh, okay. I've okay, got plus six on all my um, all my weapons. 
Yeah, that's to hit, and then there'll be plus six with damage. That's uh, also which be plus four the for way damage. it is. Yeah, it's plus six for damage on mine. Hmm. Okay, so what manoeuvre are you going to do whilst I'm looking at this up? There? Um, I will do the manoeuvre trip attack. Um, and I'm going to use my dice tower for my manoeuvres. Okay. Get this bad boy down here. I like to roll digitally, but I think for my manoeuvres, whatever they're called, what are they called? They are manoeuvres, Man, aren't they? Man hoovers. For my man hoovers, uh, it's a d6 to start with. Okay. Two. Okay. Um, add to the total to the damage roll. Okay, so that's plus two. Uh, right. And then the target must make a, a 14 um, strength saving throw. Okay, so I'm going to be pedantic there. You said you two-handed that axe, right? So that additional plus two to the damage, that's the reason we've got the plus six, it's from your dueling feat, where you gain a plus two when you single-hand a weapon, a melee weapon. It's not on throne attacks. On throne attacks, it would be a plus four. But when you're actually oh. dueling with someone one-on-one, -on -one, that's where it becomes a plus six. Um, so they strength save. So. Um, okay, they got a natural 20. Uh, well, I assume that they beat that. Okay, so is there any uh, anything that happens when it fails? or is, oh, Sorry, when it succeeds, or is it only if it fails? No, only on a failure. Okay, so... so uh, five. I can't do anything. That's it. That's me done. Okay, so as this axe flies through the air, you see it chink. There's this really satisfying feeling, and then it just... Bloop! kind of drops out on the floor as the creature phases. You don't see any blood or anything, and you you kind of just make a perception check for me there. Six. Uh, Drag 21. The, so then you, as you see that, you're looking at it, kind of looking to see how it's injured, and you realize it doesn't look seem to be as injured as it should be. Okay. From that throw. Um, and unless you would like to move, that's your action. No, I think I'm. I think I'm in a good position, so I'll stay there. That's my turn. Done. Okay. Don't forget to cross off your superiority dice because you used yes. one. Um, then we are back to the top of the round. Octavius, what would you like to do? My muting thing's not working properly. All right. So what I would like to do is I would like to cast Moonbeam. Okay. Um, so that it just catches uh, him in the on the edge so the edge of the moonbeam is to the south of him if that makes sense so that someone could move five feet towards him and not be in it right i see so it's essentially over the statue yes uh what's the radius on it it is a 10 foot circle i believe give me a sec uh, it's fine uh there we go then like that five, no sorry five foot radius five foot radius yes so half that oh no hang on so ten, where ten I feet in diameter. For some reason, uh, let's just do a second one. Um, Brad, do you want to just refresh the what the battle maps? What people are seeing? Um, thing is still outside. Six meters oh, right. still outside. Everything's updated, but him. That's weird. <laughs> is that, okay, so um, this bright beam of light just seems to burst down onto the creature uh, and. Uh, can blast this statue. So now the damage is on their turn, right? It's a constitution. Maybe it's when the creature enters for the first time or starts its yeah. turn there. Um, okay. And I, did we? I thought in the we did. We ruled that by casting it, they enter it for the first time. Yeah. No, I definitely say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so con save. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-four. Uh, that saves. Uh, okay. So he takes half damage, which is. Hopefully large is eleven rounds down, so five. Okay, uh, so five points of radiant. what damage type was it? Radiant. Okay, um, so again, this radiant damage hits, and you feel like, as you see it, you'd expect more singeing. You feel like the radiant isn't doing as much damage as you would have hoped. Um, and then at that point, the uh, so figure is going to scream at you, and it's going to use a legendary action. I haven't finished my turn. It can. Um, oh right, you sorry. You're bonus. using a legendary action, right? Mm. Uh, and it is going to get the right tool. It is going to 
disappear and then reappear at the bottom of the screen. Almost like it's kind of done uh, like a Star Trek warp across okay. the thing where it appears to be everywhere at once and then coalesces at the opposite end. Right. So uh, I'm going to move five feet up towards my bird. Okay. And then I'm going to command my bird to use fiery teleportation to teleport okay. myself um, just outside my moonbeam. Uh, so both me and the bird and anybody with willing, anybody who's willing to teleport with me within five feet um, can teleport. So that would be Phaser as well, could if or she luck. chooses. Yeah, Phaser or Luck could come with or me luck. if they want to. Muted, sorry. Um, I'm uh, all right for now. Thank you. Okay, so just okay. me and the bird then teleport up to next to the statue outside of the moonbeam. Uh, to the north. Yeah. Uh, no, so, okay. sorry, just to the to the west. To the west. Okay. Yeah. So That's both pretty you... awesome. I'm going to stay there though. Yeah. And, and then birds, then... just this fly, fiery flame it erupts in flame. Uh, where where you were? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, does anyone have to make any saving throws around there? Uh... Should have gone. <laughs> Is this one of those, you disappear, but it it's explodes and sets fire to people? Too late, too late. <laughs> uh... Oh god, I misread it. Yeah, I thought it was each, uh, oh. each friendly creature. He's not a friendly creature, but yes, sorry. So DC 14 dex saving throw. So, Phaser, uh, can you make a DC 14 save? And Lack, can you make a DC 14 save? Right. Yeah. Um, Phaser, and you are minus, minus four from that as well, please. Oh, a D4. Minus D4, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Luckily, it's not a lot of damage, but I mean, still, sorry about that. What is it? What's 14? <laughs> uh, oh, so 14 on the dot. I got eight. <laughs> so, whoop, whoop. Can I, can I, can I, um, no, it's not going to work. Can I do a reaction and cast shield? Is that going to help me with this? You mm, could a reaction to. Mm. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, okay. do you know what? I'll say. Oh. Yeah, you can. As you see him disappear, you sense this flame appearing and you can cast shields. Thank um, you. Oh, no, hang on, because shield oh, yeah. just adds five shield to your AC. Yeah, you see. Oh, well, then no. Really okay, it doesn't well, really then... work here, no. Is Sorry. it half damage for um, a save? Yeah. Uh, Fine. No. Okay. It's no damage for a save. Fine. Okay. Well, I'm very grateful then. So Octa as Octavius disappears in fiery flame, Phaser takes how much damage? She takes uh, uh, five points of fire damage. Five points of fire damage as you try and kind of pat it out on your arm as these flames appear. Apologies, um, I, it's the first rats. time I'm using it. It's oh, uh, <laughs> alright, don't worry. Happens, just... happens to everyone the first time. Happens to everyone. <laughs> okay, is that your turn? Uh, that now ends my go, yes, thank you. Okay, Ripper, you are up. Ripper is going to be like, right, enough is enough, and he's going to make his way to the thingy. While he's doing that, he's going to twirl his staff, put his hands in the middle, and like Darth Maul, push his hands to the end and this blue light emanates from his hands as he uses a bonus action to cast his channel divinity to make his weapon the sacred weapon which will give cool. it plus three uh, and and make it magical um this like okay. energy extends out i'm gonna mark off my channel divinity and then i'm gonna get within five feet of it and smack it one okay uh so five ten fifteen twenty within twenty feet of movement you can absolutely yes. get in her face within five feet did you say or ten feet uh i've only got a quarter star for the time okay. being so, so it has to be five feet i'm gonna use my weapon uh versatile as well okay um so remember your attack rolls are at disadvantage even with a magical weapon even with a magical weapon okay oh well that's gonna be uh 13 plus five i rolled a 13 and a 19 so 13 plus 5. Uh, it hits. So as you bring it round, you feel it impacts. Roll damage. Mmm, delicious. So I get to... That's a 6 plus a 3, and then because my mag weapon's magical, plus another 3. So 12 points of damage. So uh, 12 points of what kind of damage? Uh, it, 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 says, it says positive energy. 
So, you know, happiness. But it doesn't say... That's what I'm attacking with. It doesn't say radiant, does it? No, it doesn't. No. Okay. It says posi positive energy, you know? That's it's fine. Like, it's making this spirit feel good about itself. Groovy. You know? Yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good vibes. vibes. Good vibes. Great vibes. Uh, and then because that's a hit, uh, I'm going to use a divine smite as well. Marvellous. Uh, you can actually, add that to nah, the... actually, nah, I'm not going to. I'll save it. I'll save it. Okay. That's um, choice. And that's, doing... that's, that's my... No, that's the end of my guy. I'm going to stay there with this, with this, basically with a lightsaber. Okay. Um, with this horrendous uh, attack launched in, uh, the creature's going to use their second legendary action <gasps> to... Um... Oh, they can only do that one. To kind of reach out and seems to kind of pull her hands in towards you. And it's like the walls of the building themselves seem to be folding in for a moment and then they fold back. The ash that had been in the air, that had been kind of drifting, wafting through in the wind, coalesces and takes on these forms of light as two white, shimmering, blue, tiny clouds appear in the room. This like. <laughs> Uh, Lack, it is your turn. Okay, so these shimmery blue light things. Yep. I, I see them. Is she holding a crystal? Make a perception check. 15 plus 6, that's a good roll. 21. Something really big is kind of glowing in her heart. In her heart. How Again, I'm... where it's phasing kind of in and out, yeah. it's not like Hard something where you think, oh, I could reach and grab that and pull that off. But you can see there's something very big glowing that's in the centre of her being. Okay. Well, I'm going to run up. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to run underneath Ripper to the west of her. Yeah. And then I'm going to try and shove my spear to hit, I mean, to hit her, but ideally trying to aim for that crystal now that I've seen it. Still okay. Advantage, yeah. Yes. Uh, that's fifteen and better. So fifteen, the lowest. So uh, you thrust out with your spear, aiming for this bright light. But you almost feel like you've been slightly blinded by the light. And again, your spear seems to pass oh, through like nothing. Mother bungler. Well, I'll follow up with a like spinny kick over the top for her okay. jaw. Oh, that's better. 19 and 21. So as you drop and you turn and you spin, you feel your foot connect. Crack. That doesn't do quite as much as I was hoping. That's seven points of damage. Okay. And uh, then... Is that what type of damage? Is that bludgeoning? bludgeoning damage, your feet? yeah. Okay. My so again, you feel is... like as that attack lands, you feel like a little bit burnt from the attack, not enough mm -hmm. to hurt you, but you don't really feel like you've had, it's not like hitting like a piece of beef or something yeah. or, or flesh. It doesn't seem to have quite the same impact that you would have hoped. Yeah. Fair play. Um, in which case I shall also move away from her with my mobile feet. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Back to my original position, please, because I have okay. fast speed. So you're going to uh, head to the north to the pillar west again, again. yeah, yeah north, hiding southwest of the pillar yeah, southwest yeah. of the pillar fantastic uh is that your turn that is all i can do thank you very much okay phaser you and toots are up yeah um i would like to um take a a step to the left as the song says okay. um and can i cast uh tasha's caustic brew of um, course you can at, uh, uh, at the the phasing figure. Okay. Let's see what happens. Um, cool. Assuming that's a save. Uh, hit. Well, this is where you're going to have to help help me a bit with D and D Beyond. Okay. Sorry. So it's a hit slash DC says Dex thirteen. So that's a save. Yeah. Okay. Got to make a Dex thirteen save, um, yes. which she fails, <gasps> but she is going to choose to use a legendary resistant to uh! automatically pass. Damn oh. it. What does someone have to do? Um, uh, oh, sorry. She was she went five foot to her left. So sorry, that was that was uh, to 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 the east. Sorry. Oh, sorry, like that's that. fine. So right into that corner, um, essentially. Yeah. So in front yes, of okay. the in front of so the, the yeah the... to the eastern wall. 
yeah, purple, purple, blue, whatever it is. Um, okay, uh, so I've cast that now. I would like to, I think I need to get out of there really. Um, so I've only moved five foot, so I've still got 20 foot left to move. So I will okay. move to the, one, two, three. I think I'd like to go to the north east of the pillar, the central pillar. Okay, so as you start moving past oh, no. the moat, which you are within its range, sort of pulses and moves into your area, um, and does absolutely nothing as you manage to duck under it and uh, run. I'm assuming okay. that a five doesn't hit your AC. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Thank Christ. No, as it I'm takes its opportunity to attack. <laughs> Um, and uh, uh, yeah. so that is all that she's going to do. Toots. Okay. Um, it's probably going to. I think Toots will run at the blue light that's okay. uh, directly sort of south of her. Okay, so um, they're going to move uh, 15 feet yeah. to the south. Yeah, so she's got 40 feet of movement. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so, um, and she will force empowered rend. Which, uh, yeah. Force and power friends. I need to look this up. Sorry, this is this is fun having two characters to try and play with when you've got shaky grass one one. So it's a melee um, weapon attack essentially. Isn't it is, it? yeah. So yeah. it's a yep. It's a roll your d twenty with a plus four. Let's see if you can hit first. Okay. Eleven. Uh, you hit. Yeah. You roll damage. Get in. So uh, the damage for that is one d eight plus my efficiency bonus. So. Five plus. Where's that on this sheet? Ah, uh, seven. Okay, so with this um, strange kind of glowing, pulsing light appearing, you everyone else sees Toots for the first time run quickly. So far, she's been sort of this slow lumbering companion, and you hear kind of mechanical clicking as she runs forward and swipes out with her mighty pangolin claw clashing into this light and the light just dissipates like glitter and confetti and doesn't actually reapparate it seems to have completely dissipated it does a, pang does a pangolin run on two legs four legs or does it roll it can it can run on it can do either it, it well roll. Real pangolins roll. They, they roll, but it, it, it can it can run um uh, by using the it can use its front two legs as as extra if it needs to when it curls its claws under but i think in this example because she's running to attack i think she'd run rather than roll okay so um that's toot's turn toot's action was toot's um, making any more movement with the last of her movement uh yes i think i'll have her move um to directly south of black Okay, so as Toots runs back, this creature is going to get uh, its opportunity attack on. Oh no, it's disappeared. It's I hadn't deleted it. That's my fault. Ah, awesome. there we go. Gone. Oh, uh, you've deleted Toots as well. No, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, why is both selected? There we go. <laughs> so about six myth you put uh, Toots below. Sorry, oh yes, there thank we go. you. So there we go. So that is your turn. At this, the uh, fragmented figure is kind of turning around looking at uh well at ripper who has seems to have done the most damage it's just going to reach out and you just see this blinding white light come at you ripper um and ooh, um was it a 12 hit. yeah nah so you Piss see off. this streak of white light as uh its eyes are distracted by this rushing pangolin off to its left and this like hits the floor and everyone else sees this shining thing and then the um paving stones kind of seem to almost crumble and disappear as though they've just passed through reality itself uh the creature is then going to uh s move uh about 10 feet to its left just uh, floating around will, to get a better look at the room. I will take an opportunity attack, please. It's not left your range. Ah, I will think about taking an opportunity attack, please. Uh, and then seed, you are up. 
Okay, uh, so uh, I think I'm right in saying that Seed saw Octavius also get hit by the Bane previously. Yes, so, yes I'm currently Bane. Seed is going to dish out another Bardic Inspiration uh, up to Octavius. Uh, it sounds remarkably like the one before. Hmm. Uh, and then uh, Seed is going to pull out their bow and arrow and try to shoot uh, this strange creature. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, okay, so, so at some... disadvantage. Oh, good point. Good point. Damn, that would have been a nat 20. Sorry, everyone. But it's a 19, so... It does hit. It does hit. So you can roll damage. Uh, so that's six damage. Six damage. So as, again, your arrow used as it's sliding around Ripper, who faints like he's going to make an attack on it, it turns its eye to him, and you use that moment to release an arrow that flies true and hits into its other shoulder, and you see a little tiny spark of light kind of fly off, um, and it takes some damage. Six minutes. Right, I am going to get up in this thing's grill. Um, Okay. Is it, it's, let me just refresh just in case it's it's altered since I it's still in last the, in the bottom. It's still right in the bottom right corner side. next to you. Yeah. Oh, it's I see, but it's shifted now. slightly. Yeah. Okay, wicked. Um, I'd like to move next to Ripper and to the north of the. Um, so, uh, looking at it, Ripper's west, um, looking down on the map. Yeah, and so then you use about twenty feet of movement to run south and get directly facing it, kind of blocking its view of the rest of the group uh, yes. to the north of you. Um, I heft my shield, um, and I I think I'm just going to go in for a straight attack. Uh, I'm going to use my scimitar, and I'm going to do my classic, bring it out and attack at the same time. Okay, make an attack roll at disadvantage, please. That is 19. I've got a natural 20, by the way, on my other one. But, uh, oh, two crits cancelled. I'm so That's a 19. <laughs> I know. Uh, so that also hits. Good. Um, in that case, let me have a brief look uh, at my manoeuvres. Um, I have to. I have to be cautious about my economy at this level. Um, in this economy. And I assume. <laughs> and I assume that the thing in her chest it's not i know i know the answer before i ask this but it's not held by her or anything it's not something that uh it's, it's embedded in her is it you can make a perception check to look i just want to see if it's sort of something that looks like it can be loosened perception check. well actually no can you no i'm saying you can't make a perception check because you've already made an attack so you've instantly gone in and slashed at her Yes. So this is to see enough. if you wanted to use your... You can use a, a battle maneuver if you wish to. Otherwise, you've still got to roll damage. Yes. Um... Yeah, I'll try... I'll, I'll, tri I'll trip attack again. I think that's... Now I'm uh, right up in her grill. Okay. Um, I'll try and trip attack. So let me roll my... Okay, what's so the she, save? She needs... It's a save of... Uh, Strength saving throw 14. Okay, well, she fails. Six. Okay. Um, but she is going to use her second legendary resistance to choose to succeed instead. That makes sense. Um, I add six to whatever damage roll I'm about to make. Okay, let's roll your damage. So that would be four. Oh, no, sorry. It would be 10 plus 6. So I do 16 points of damage to her. Because you're one handed weapon, so you get your wielding. So exactly, 16 yeah. total. I understand that now. Yeah. And uh, as, again, you slice in, you feel that the weapon is not quite impacting the way you want it to. It's hard to tell. You see sparks of light flashing off where you think that you are cutting into something, but there's no blood. There's no sense of physicality. And uh, with that, we are going to come to the top of the round, but I'm cognizant of time. So. Just drop her down to one HP, next attack wins. Nah. <laughs> no. So I'm going to call it there, ladies and gents, as um, we'll give you this free bit of info as you look at this creature that looks slightly unfazed at this point. 
Oh. Well, not unfazed. I mean, I did a it's fantastic manoeuvre. I Achow! looked super cool. I've got, so, I've got, I've got frozen so, in time. You've already so used that joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, look, I've got three of them, Brad. Don't call me out on it. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't think we're going to necessarily finish this in 20 minutes unless you manage to get crits on every single attack. And even I can though... make that happen. I can make that happen. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to call it here and we'll open up the beginning of the next session know, in the middle of combat. I will... <laughs> So I was like, let me just check. Roll my dice. I got a nat one. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, 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 let's leave, leave the session here. Let's leave the session. Here. That's canon. That's carrying over into your first. Uh, it's not uh, going to go actually. Uh, oh, so... oh, convenient that. <laughs> so uh, I am going Thanks to for recognizing my profession. <laughs> stop the old music at that point. So we hope you've enjoyed tonight, ladies and gents. We will pick up next time with them in the middle of this heated battle with a strange entity in the middle of the ruins of the God of Chaos's temple. Uh, until next week, where can they find us, folks? So you can find us at Blood Song Party on Twitter and Blood and Song on Facebook and Instagram. Come and join the discussion. Let us know, uh, is at level three as a character with legendary resistances and legendary actions fair? Uh, is, uh, let us know, do you think we're going to win this battle? Um, let us know. What Give do us some tips. I mean, I mean, you can do, break the top wall. You can tell roll? us what you think. I don't, think it's, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's part of a DM, uh, DM's remit to make things fair. No, <laughs> this is perfectly fair. This is a well-balanced encounter. So yeah. let's... So let us know whether you agree with that on the socials. That's Blood Song Party on Twitter and Blood and Song on Instagram and on Facebook. Yes. Uh, with that being said, we hope to see you in a week for the conclusion of a thrilling battle where the party could survive. Um, in <laughs> fact, I encourage them to, and I am rooting for them. Until then, have a wonderful week wherever you are, and may the Great Mother guide you. Farewell. Goodbye. Oh.